Yo, the gamers, we are back for another episode of Kaiser the Diamond. This time we're playing Kaiser Brom into Caitlyn Lux. So I, I expect this to be quite a tough matchup, especially with our jungler pathing top side. So we're going to be struggling quite a bit here, I think, because Brom is mainly not really all that good into ranged champions, of which they have two like hyper ranged enemies. Uh, he's mainly good into lower range champs because, like, he can't actually auto to proc his own passive if he can't get in range for his passive. Killen is also really good. You know, her E is a really good disengage if she ever does get hit by a Braum Q. Makes it unlikely that I would ever be able to proc his passive. So, bad matchup for us, but we'll see what we can do with it. Whoops, didn't mean to walk into that. Waiting for him to crash this in. The moment all we have to do is just preserve our HP, make sure we're not losing too much. Done a good job with that so far. Actually, I have a CS lead over Killen as well for now. <coughs> And of course, we're going to be running cleanse here since. Actually, I probably should have leveled. Um, e here, actually, because I want to be able to dodge those skull shots more easily. Well, the W is better for lost hitting under turret. But yeah, we're running cleanse here since Kill and Lux can be pretty scary if Lux lands a binding and Kill and follows up with a trap. We're just going to go ahead and cleanse that Lux Q that I just got hit by recently. Just so we can avoid taking a ton of damage. I think Kaelin probably has W, so she was going to place it eventually anyway. Might as well just cleanse now rather than later. And avoid getting also hit by like a Luxie as well. On the Lux auto. No point delaying the cleanse when we know we're going to have to use it eventually anyway. Yeah, not much we can do to fight back here as you can see. Just a sad state of affairs. Brom is not a good blind pick support, which is what he did there after seeing uh, Caitlyn. Oh, my bad. Okay, I still got that. Hmm, I'm gonna start charging my base, but... No, I think I'll cancel it. I don't know, dude, Kellen actually isn't using Q. I think I could've gotten away with basing there. Yeah, she's just straight up not using Q. I think this wave arrives in time where I, I would've had to find base there. Oh well. You can see also definitely a matchup where I would have liked some jungle attention instead of letting them lane under turret all game. Maybe Lilia can throw us a gank now. Ow. Nah. If she ganks now, we're probably still more likely to die than they are. It's too late now. Damn it. Alright, I'm basing. I have to give up on a wave eventually, may as well be now. Unless... Nah, this is probably greedy, because they're just going to stick around until I base anyway. But I mean, I'm doing a good job so far of keeping up and farm somehow. Or, it's not that I'm doing a good job, it's that Killen is doing a bad job of actually getting all her lost hits. I'm even in farm, even though I'm lost hitting her turret, which just shouldn't happen. I can't let's hit that because I don't have mana. I think I actually would have finished my base there. <laughs> I guess we'll just stick around for the cannon wave here. And then base for real. There's a risky. Okay, it's gonna work out, I think. 
Nice one. I got a kill. Uh, I'm pretty fucking dead here. My bad. Yeah, I was just beginning to back off. Bit unlucky timing. Okay, that channeled though. Nice, I get an assist on her. That means I also get... A ball and treasure hunter, sorry. Nice one. Wave is a bit fucked, unfortunately, but it is what it is. I'll take it. I'll make sure she gets the streak. I would arrive in lane too late to actually do anything with the Wisted anyway. Oh, what the hell is going on here? Actually, why? Uh, have they lane swapped on top lane? I thought this Malphite was their mid laner. And we're rushing Berserkers in this matchup, so we can dodge their Skull Shots a lot more easily. Nice one. Gonna risk it to go for a lot sit there, but thankfully Q doesn't have a animation to lock us into place. Oh, my bad. So we're making zero attempts to make any aggressive moves because we're just not going to be able to kill them. Literally the only thing we want to do is just minimize the amount of HP we lose. Which means we can stay in lane longer and get more lost hits. We only go aggressively if they make some huge fuck up. Worth a shot. But yeah, it's just super easy to disengage on Killen's behalf. Not much we can do to actually punish her. Maybe Lux could be killable at some point. I think she still got flashed though, right? I don't think she flashed. Not bad. Good thing I dodged that Q though. That would have been a lot of damage as well. This is why we run the potions. Okay, now that I have six, we might actually stand the chance. Oh, Brahma six as well. This could be huge. Hang on. They were- No, Brahm! Need to stop autoing once it was clear that it was just gonna be a free kill. What the fuck? Brahm. No! Oh. So fucking dead. We need to go on Luxair, I think. Maybe she dies. She's not gonna die. That sucks. Did not see that gank. That was their fucking top laner, bro. The hell? Okay. At least we get a kill 2v2, though. That was pretty good. Yeah, now that we're level 6, it actually is a dramatically more playable, at least. Bromult is a pretty solid engage, especially if Killen Z is down, I can follow it up with my ult, no matter how out of position I am. Would have been nice if we could have just been allowed to get a free lead off of it, though, instead of trading one for two, or two for one, for no reason, just because we got ganked by their middle in there. Muffin a flash as well. Yeah, if I was, if I wanted a chance of surviving there, by the way, the thing that Brom needed to do was tag Malphite with his passive instantly. He took far too long. So I could actually, if I managed to stun Malphite, I might have been able to live. I ended up going on Lux because I knew that stunning Malphite was just going to be far too late to save me. So I may as well try and get a kill out of Lux. Let's crash this and actually remove some vision.
No point for him, no point. Um. Oh, fuck me, I went too far away, my bad. I'm so fucked here, god damn it. Oh, we were completely isolated there. Shouldn't have been engaging, actually. Because <clears throat> we knew that there was nobody on our side of the map. On our team. But uh, we had no fucking idea where the enemies were. Yeah, that was both both on me and Braum. Both were just playing too aggressive there. I think clearing the pink was fine, but... Didn't need to be walking that deep into the brush or trying to hit Lux. Without us. So annoying that we have such a hard matchup when we play weak plan on top of that. I hope the rest of the team is doing well at least. At least, okay, Lily just died, but she is like strong at least. One more auto, one more auto. Perfect. We should be able to target them. Oh, my bad. Oh, come on. Okay, I got Lux. Can I get her? It's so fucking close. Ah, I clicked the minion back. <laughs> I think it would have been fine, but nice. Whoa. Whoa, he actually got her. Nice one. I did not think that would reach. That was ballsy. He got hit by the killing cube, by the way, didn't he? She was walking up to Q for absolutely no reason. I didn't even think her ultimate would kill, let alone her Q. Fuck, I'm so tempted to go for the kind of wave so I can actually get my mythic, but... I don't think it would be smart. I'm just gonna go for pickaxe, so when we hit level 9 we'll have the Q evolve, but that's gonna be quite a bit of waste though. Memories comfort like the closest companion. Oh, she has vision here. Damn it, kids didn't go off in time. I don't know what she's doing. Slowly but surely we- oh, well, apparently- oh god, I'm so fucked now. Didn't know she had gill for us. Damn it. Get the Talon. Oh, this blows. Yeah, no, my bad. I shouldn't have been going so deep. I thought we were catching Caitlyn out, but... I think we basically needed that Lilia to land, or it was just never gonna happen. Yeah, overchase for sure. Especially at the end there when I used the... That was terrible. We got a Drake though somehow. Didn't even know my team wasn't Drake. In fact, that might have been the issue if my team was doing Drake while we were going for a gank. So don't like Kellen way definitely way overextended for that plating, right? That is a given. She just didn't die for it. We could try cheesing them here. It's a bit risky, but what do you have to lose at this point? We're already really behind. Oh, that's not what I meant. What the fuck? Well now I'm fucked. Ah, I could have flashed that, my bad. Cleansing the slow. I'm dead here, <laughs> holy shit. What was that from? Okay, nice, we get something back.
Maybe I can hit the killer with W then altar. Ah, she's gonna life still too hard, I think. And there's a Moffat in the lane now. Fuck, now I wish I'd gone bot. I actually instantly pressed R there. Right as Moffat appeared on screen. Good thing I wasn't in range or whatever. Stop fucking fighting for zero reason. The funny thing is that literally 99% of solo queue is fighting for no reason, right? Problem is we keep getting outnumbered every time we try and fight for no reason. Well, they fight for no reason and they win. Because they have better numbers. Because they play better as a team. Because they embrace the fighting for no reason. Don't die. Meanwhile, I couldn't kill Kaylin there because her team is protecting her because they know I want to fight for no reason. <laughs> you know? That's solo queue. Alright, I can base for my mythic now, finally. She gonna fucking see me, yeah. Oh fuck's sake, killing this here. Come on! You fucking shooting me! Oh, I'm so sad, man. I just, just can't catch a break this game. Like, okay, killing is there, fair enough. I think the risk knowing she might be there, but really? Lux arrives on that HP after flashing. God, that's so sad. If I just not had to use E, I would have been able to auto attack her in time. I mean, the main problem for us has been like, they drown us out, they drown us all, all game long right now. Like, how do I defend this turret? I can't. How do I, how do I actually defend the start is by killing Kaelin. How do I kill Kaelin? I fight her. But what happens when I fight her? I get ganked. There's like three people on the lane every time. Nothing I can do to defend my turret if I can't fight the Kaelin. And that's just been what's really frustrating about this game is that I have no good option because fighting is bad, but fighting is the only thing my champion does against the Kaelin lane when I don't, well, I say when I don't have engage, I'm from is uh, sort of unengaged, he's just not very effective at it as a champion. At least against their bot lane. Definitely not when we get ganked on every engage as well. I'm just gonna pray we ask y'all. I don't, I don't actually know like how good Ksanti is like in. Talon is decent. I think he outskills Lilia. Malphite probably outskills Yasuo. Yeah, he definitely outskills Yasuo. Kaelin doesn't outskill me, I guess. Maybe. Bromo skills Lux. We'll just hope it works out. Yeah, do you enjoy not fighting the Kaelin for no reason? Do you like what happens when you don't fight her? Yasuo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just ignore her. Just spend all game letting her hit you. It's all good. Um, I'm gonna go and kill on here. <laughs> of course he just turns. <laughs> okay, Malphite one man ulted. Hopefully that's enough for my team to win. Yep. Rough. Go mid and defend all their pressuring. Problem is they never stop pressuring, so it's hard to find times to farm. They don't stop they don't have to stop pressuring. When we just lose every fight.
Like, if this game were playing Kai'Sa this game, it would be one thing, because Kai'Sa doesn't have great siege, right? She doesn't have amazing poke. But she's playing Caitlyn. So she can always hit us from outside of our range, so what we need to do is close the gap, but every time we do, we lose. We lose. There's no counterplay in this situation. All we can do is wait for our death. Oh, could be good. We got the Talon, nice one. I got her. Fucking hell, finally, finally. I think, did they even base after they won the previous fight? I think that was the problem there. We were just fighting with uh, more spent gold there. Now we might uh, actually have a gold lead. Well, not a gold lead, but... Might be enough to actually start winning fights if we're lucky. Man, I'm probably not gonna get this turret, I don't think. Well, the only person that has TP up is Malphite. Or, well, not even up, but has TP in general. I think I have time, actually. As long as Malphite doesn't TP. Just trying to see for TP flanks. <laughs> As you can see, the TP animation in fog. There we go. That's just the start. Exploit their mistakes. Need to go Runans here, I think. See the Runans or Lord Dominix. I'm gonna go for Runans. Then I might have to do Lord Dominix fourth as well. And Bloodthirst are lost. We got two tanks. Evolve is also really nice here. We might want to go top here. Uh oh. Mm. Damn it, if only I had not missed my W, this was a free kill and tell in here. Ah, god damn it. Flash out, flash out. Oh, I don't have flash. <laughs> Fuck, I shouldn't have done that. That was greedy. I, sh I just. Sh Shouldn't have thrown my W if I just saved it for Talon, who was fucking dead. I also went of him. Okay, meanwhile, we did this with Yasuo bot. At least he got a lot of farm there. Some third damage. Oh man, why is it every time the enemies are stacking mountains, it's when they have a full tank comp? Two tanks on the enemy team, and they're gonna get him. Free month in here. I really don't think we can rush that. My team does not have the damage. The only two are like Braum and Lilia. What are they gonna do against the Baron? Might put the enemies into thinking we can do it though. Should just run kill Malphite, I think. Okay, nice. That's good. Now we have a- oh god. My bad. I could have ulted him. I don't currently have ult. Uh, there's not much to do here. Fucking hell. <laughs> okay. Just as I'm ready to join the fight, he takes the fight over there. so annoying for like I could dive Kaelin so much more if I was gonna bloodthirst over the can. Okay, we definitely delayed that mountain for ages. But still gonna get it. Just gonna get this in recall.
next item needs to be Lost Whisper. Can't afford to go quick look. You know, I just realized Malphite was a better Shen than Shen in laning phase. How many times did Malphite build the enemy vault in out of a bad fight in lane? What? Wait, that's crazy to think about. Ow. I remember one Shen ult and it was after I died. Yeah, probably using W there if she's got a shield. This could be good though. Fucking no vision. Okay. No, fuck! Did she crit me at the end there or what? Also, where was, what was Brom this whole time? Huh? That, nah, that could have been an ace, bro. What? What happened there? I, I don't think I should have gone for Cassanti though, by the way. That was greedy. That was so much such a waste of time when I could have been helping the team. Like, I think if I don't did any, or maybe not yet, because I think, yeah, there's nobody on these guys yet. Okay, Brom got a little bit low, I guess. Fair enough. And Lily uh, left, but I guess she was also really low. Your turret has been destroyed. Yeah, no, this fight was just awkward. Shen didn't get to ult. I think he died 1v1 to Xanti or something. Oh well. Now that I look at the replay, I don't think it was actually much people could do after the start of the fight. Like, even I, I, could, I said that I wasted my time going for Xanti, but I actually couldn't have gone in because I would have been alone. Everybody else was already super low. They're not on that, are they? No. Um... Nope, I don't want to start that. Oh, that guy is such a knight. I can't reveal his stealth right now. Walk so far around. Ooh. Got him. No more smite for them. Cost me my ultimate though. Who just flashed? Can we do something about this? My entire team is super low. Ow. Wish I could have used W as well there. Okay, I think we forced them off of it. But you guys need to run. No! What are they doing? Drake is up in one minute. I guess I'll get the scuttle crab and then just recall. Oh, what the fuck? Never mind. Well, that sucks. My team did not need to get engaged on or try to engage there, whatever happened. We forced them off the Baron so they just ran at us to try and kill us because they had no other option <laughs> and my team just welcomed the challenge. <laughs> Like sure, fighting for no reason is good in solo queue. It's good if it's a good fight, but that was not a good fight. No world where you should try and accept that fight. One away. This talent is fucking trolling, by the way. What the fuck was that? I don't even need to land my W on him because he just straight up wasted his stealth trying to burst our support. Like what?
Should be able to get this, rush it fast. Enemies are trying to push mid. They want to try and get this in here while we're on the Baron. We need to get it fast on recall. Okay, they only got the turret. That's fine. This could be good. We can engage. And we don't really have engaged though. Fucking blows. We don't be killing unless we engage on her. I can't match her auto damage or her range. I mean, I can match her auto attack damage in DPS, but not in like one auto poke. Wait, fuck me, I should have got killed in there, my bad. Fuck me, I'm fucked. Damn it. Killing just like triple dashed away. She like used E, Gil Force, and Flash. I hooked it up to the spot where she was before all those dashes. I'm so fucking sad, man. Can you escape? Yeah, good question. When I saw Killen in the middle of that, I was like, oh, is that Killen? Because I couldn't fucking tell. Then I ulted in and boom, she was gone. Let's see that again. I think this game's ugly. Yeah, that, that was Killen, right? I randomly see Killen here, like, oh, she's fucked. Let's go finish her off and clean up. Then boom, Flash, Gil Force, E. <laughs> she ended up so far away. Holy shit, that's so unlucky. Alright, GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Kai'Sa to Diamond. This time we're going to be playing Kai'Sa Swain and Tequila Nautilus. So despite the ADC matchup being the exact same as the previous game, it shouldn't be nearly as painful because of the fact that this time around her support is an engaged support instead of a support that actually wants to play around her win condition against Kai'Sa, which is supposed to be just keeping me at bay. Nautilus engage doesn't really do too much for Kaelin in this matchup. So we can pop Ghost here, try and get her. Okay, we'll back off now. Oh, and now she's probably dead. Yep, perfect. <laughs> Still got the ghost. And that's a kill. Perfect. Oh, I nearly got blocked into that third shot. Okay. Shove this fast. Perfect. See, Killen doesn't want to fight us. She loses all ins. So why does her support want to all in? It's a bad matchup. Meanwhile, Swain, uh... A lot better than Braum for actually dealing with the killing as well. You've already seen him pull her into me like twice, three times, something crazy like that. It's definitely much bigger impact in the early game than Braum. And you can already see before we even hit level two. Already off to a much better start. That's why, I mean, when you're, your takeaway from games like the previous one, in the laning phase, shouldn't be like, oh, Kai'Sa and Tequilin is unplayable. You know, it's all about the 2v2. How does the 2v2 work? I could, I could tell, like, the only way... Uh, Kaelin should be giga favorite against Kai'Sa if Kai'Sa has an engaged support is if Kaelin has Morgana because Morgana counters engaged supports and Kai'Sa needs engage so if you counter the engage then you counter the entire matchup and there's no Kai'Sa duel that can like uh, be favored in that situation right but if Morgana's off the table any kind of engaged support makes actually Kaelin a very play very playable matchup for Kai'Sa <clears throat> That's why I find it weird that a lot of people say that the the biggest Kai'Sa counters are long range ADCs like Caitlyn, like Jinx, like Kog'Maw. Like Caitlyn, okay, fair enough. But like Kog'Maw, Jinx, just because they have high auto attack range, they are the they are literally the most vulnerable ADCs to engage. And Kai'Sa's best supports are engage supports. You're never playing a one v one lane on ADCs. In a war world, are those weak? Are are those ADCs good into Kai'Sa? You know, they're just not. <laughs> Unless, you know, unless Kai'Sa's support doesn't give her the tools to deal with them. And if, in which case, it was probably a bad situation to pick Kai'Sa, but obviously we're just picking her every game here, so we can't avoid that. 
Ghost also makes this match more manageable as well. Makes it much easier to just sprint that Caitlyn, make up for the range advantage and just get in a range and auto attacker because once I'm in a range, I win. Okay, I'm gonna focus on crushing this. I think Helen is there as well. No, okay, she's not. Still, I might be able to do something if I crash this and leave. Hmm. Yeah, there's every chance their team might just re-engage her. Or we can catch out Nautilus here. I'm gonna go for him. Does he- What? What? Does he have vision here? Oh, I'm so fucking sad, man. That was such a ballsy move, but it should have worked. Man. Well, that blows. Oh, I meant to Q there as well. So, either he just got lucky and decided not to actually path through to where he was totally pathing. Or he saw me in a, saw me flash an award, or he happened to see my flash animation in fog, which I'm not really sure if he can or not. I suppose he can. So either way, uh, there's only one scenario where he actually doesn't know that I oh, that I flashed. Fuck this is bad. I'm right on a Caitlyn trap here. I'm probably dead. Ah, that was pretty unlucky. Okay, at least he dies. We got the berserkers here. Ooh, she's still at flash. Okay, she's gonna win that sadly. <laughs> Okay, she used exhaust. Yeah, having no flash there screwed me hard. Alright, my bad got max, max range and Nautilus hooked. Also, this is pretty unfortunate because Kaelin's trap is actually, like... I don't think Nautilus really provides enough lockdown for Kaelin to... actually be able to consistently place her trap. The thing is, she placed her trap under me. As soon, like, before the Nautilus even started hooking. She wasn't trying to combo it with her CC at all. It just worked out in a really lucky way. Where the trap was placed below me as I got CC'd by Nautilus, which... Yeah, 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 I mean, usually they don't have good synergy, but if that exact interaction happens... I'm gonna be CC'd for like three seconds and one shot, you know? <laughs> Ouch. My bad. We're getting Nautilus sucked. Can we see Nautilus mid? I'm just gonna go on her. I've got level 6. Probably didn't need the ghost actually, but I can't see the fucking trap, damn it. Let's see this one though. There we go. Nautilus needed to be in lane and she needed to respect the fact that Nautilus wasn't in lane. Never lead back. Make her miss a lot of farm here too. I probably didn't even need to use Ghost, actually. And, uh, I don't know. Alright, we'll get to plettings and leave. I want to spend my gold so I actually have an advantage in lane. There we go, a ton of AD to run her down with. God damn, that Swain W actually just screwed Vigor so hard. <laughs> nice one. Oh god! I was not paying attention. Whew. Thank god Nautilus was caught sleeping. Okay, Nautilus doesn't have high splash, only flash. Or, well, I'm assuming he doesn't have it. He could actually just have his flash up. But I haven't seen him use X splash so far, I don't think.
And in 40 seconds, I'll have my flash up. After it mysteriously went on cooldown for no discernible reason. Four and a half minutes ago. Time for Swain to engage. We'll just keep this frozen. Oh, Swain! Damn it. Well, this is not much of a freeze. I mean, it's not, it was never going to be a freeze, but we could at least manipulate the wave to be a bit closer to us out of the map. This is still decent, but... Could have been even more decent. Fine, unless I get killing trapped. Got him. Perfect. Exhausted, nautil assaulted, all good. Kill him once disengaged, not to engage into me. Nautilus is not good for this matchup as much as he may have got her a kill earlier. But she'd also be struggling with uh, an actual disengage support like Janna. Because Swain is a lot stronger than her in the lane. The reality is just as simple as Kaisa's favorite into Gillen if she has an engage support or any form of engage. <coughs> oh wait, no no no, I can do kill Volve with Lonson, I forgot I got Cole. Right? Yeah. Could he go top, but Aragod is kind of hard to siege against since he's not actually melee. Mid lane turret is already down, so yeah, we'll just stick around. Why isn't this going through? There we go. Still, like, okay, I thought I'd figured it out, but I still don't know what the hell is going on where. My clicks just don't go through on my evolve. I could actually set up a freeze if I drag this minion all the way to the rest of its wave. But I don't necessarily want the freeze. I do want the slow push though. I don't mind slow pushing. I don't think I'm in any hurry to group. There's no herald up, there's no mid lane turret. Go start pressuring now. I need to start pressuring bot now that my team is pressuring top. Oh, what the fuck? Are they trolling? No, they're just trying to pressure bot now that the top lane is getting dived. Fair enough. That was a weird Nautilus flash key though. So my support could easily be defending me here instead of laning mid. Just pointing that out. Can't really save Alicia Vought here. I don't have any vision. Feed the beast. I don't think they'd be choosing here. I think they'd be choosing here. Okay, so I'm either wrong or they're not choosing. Which is it? Okay, they're not choosing. Killing his mid. I felt them to throw a Q there, but it might have stolen it. I guess the is just base. Oh, I wanted that.
Whoa. Nice one. Don't know why he got bothered with the bar with the barrier. I would go for the Raptors, but I'm just not playing a good ADC for farming them. If I was Zaya, I could go those really fast. Okay, Nautilus does not have Hex Flash. It would be visible now, since he used his Flash before. Oh, no, 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 this is bad. Now we're hot on numbered here, what the fuck? Kinda baited them though, so not too bad. No 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 no! Not even close, bitch. Jesus. No hesitation on that ultimate from him. Probably just going over aggressive there anyway. I don't need to salt cold. I'm gonna have my Navori when I base anyway again. I think I'll do blue scuttle crab and Drake. A moving target lives longer. Yeah, honestly, I think in games like the previous one, you should just dodge if you see that matchup, because <laughs> you absolutely have zero agency to try and win that. You're basically hoping you get ganked by your jungler and mid laner. There's every chance the opposite happens, which is what happened last game. If the, oppo if the opposing lane needs certain tools to deal with them, so, such as engage, and you don't have engage, just not fun at all. I think I might start banning Killen now though, after the Zion nerf. Just cause uh, most ball lanes you do have, you or most ADCs you can have a response to no matter what your support is, but uh, you saw what happens last game if she's paired with a uh, support, support like Lux and you don't have engage. I don't want to keep repeating that. Is he saying he wants to take it? He won't let me have it? I don't know. You could just ping me back. I don't know what's the thing with junglers recently that they refuse to ping you back from the red. They just they ping it, which doesn't really say anything. Sometimes they ping it even if they want to hand it over. It doesn't tell me whether you're handing it over or not. Wait, what? Maybe to risk it. Ah, oh, fuck. Whoa. Nice one. Yeah, thank god there wasn't a turret here, because I honestly went in without thinking about whether there was a turret there or not. And that was far too greedy. Nice one. Not greedy, but reckless. Alright, GG. Alright, gamers, we are back for another game of Kaisa. As I'm playing Kaisa Lulu into Nyla Senna. Which, I mean, Nyla is always a tough matchup if you're playing a short range ADC. But I think we can make it manageable. There we go, three last hits and a ton of damage on Senna. Huge. Alright, Zach said he wants to gank, so we're not gonna try and push here or, or continue trading. We just got a small advantage there. Oh, 
we'll just rest up now. We do want to avoid them pushing in too hard though. Wanna try and... Oh, well, not exactly matched the level 2. I kind of forgot that uh, they hit level 2 early thanks to Nyla, but well. So this is really good. The, uh, the whole time that they're doing this, they're not shoving in the wave. Which means, so long as it's not like exactly under turret when Zack ganks, that's really good. We want it near our turret, but not exactly under the turret. So our minions aren't crashing while we're trying to hurt them. Alright, so now there's no flash. So we focus Sana. Ooh, okay, can't quite get Nala. Would've been nice to land the fifth shot, but... I want to take a turret shot for that. Nice one, Zack. It's gonna help us out a lot. Yeah, this matchup is kind of okay for us. Nala mainly performs really well into melee champs, melee supports. And low range champs in general, so I mean... Like, sure, Kai'Sa and Lulu are kind of low-ranged, but they're not melee, for sure. It's definitely not the worst matchup we could have. I don't know I'm recalling there, which is annoying, but nothing I could do about that. I just need to rush into the lane here as hard as I can, or as fast as I can. So I miss as little CS as possible. No point using W in any of these because I can't actually get them. Actually, maybe that one, but I didn't know at the time. Okay, we got three lost hits. I think she's going to recall right after this anyway, so there's not much point actually trying to harass or we'll focus on lost hits. Wait, she's not recalling. Oh, she wants to greet for the plating, but she shouldn't. Going for her. Damn it, I can't fucking see her now. That's annoying. Ooh, this could be very good though. Yep, this should hopefully be a kill eventually. Misclick them out of there. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Oh, I don't have mana anyway for Q. That's fine. Yep, so very good to go for that plating. We knew that she wanted to recall, and that's all she should have done. So the one thing we needed to prevent was, uh... Or one thing we couldn't prevent was her shoving in the wave and recalling, but her going for the plating. We can't do something about that. Oh no, damn it. <sighs> that fucking blows. Okay, well this doesn't blow so much. Nice one. <laughs> something to make up for my flash, I guess. Actually, actually, that even only happened because of my flash, I guess, so awesome. Shame I couldn't get the Nala as well, but I'll take it. Yep, Nala needed the base, because look at her items. She was laning with nothing while I had a Thorns Blade, Cull, and Longsword. No point continuing the situation when you had a crash and you could just base. Plating is nice, sure, but you could just always wait and get it later. That was just stupid. Like, I guess the average player would not have punished that at this MMR. But... I'm certainly not gonna let that slide. See, now she could get the plating because now uh, she's actually... based and spent the gold, right? But now she just gives it up. When it when she it, when it actually would have been good to go for it. Do I have a pink? No. Yep, Lulu should rotate there. That's a good move. I don't mind landing movie two for just a little bit. She doesn't end up getting anything, but it was worth a shot. Cut them this minion. Should rotate now as well. 
Nah. This fight is already over. It's just a question of how much they can chase my team for kills. I just want to crash. It's a shame that it's a second wave though, because I won't crash this fast. But at least I can get a ton of solo XP. Maybe even get a level 6. Yeah. Oh, Senna's... Senna's mid. I didn't need to... I was worried that uh, they might try and flank, but they're not gonna with, without Senna. Where's Nala? There she is. Fuck me, I don't have mana for ult that blows. <laughs> no. Alright, my bad. Somebody was even warning me. Super close, though. Just needed 20 mana for ult. Nala did not know that I was 20 mana off, off of ult. Which, like, can I do? Yeah, this is better. More damage. We got the shutdown. Talon. Okay. I'd rather Talon have it than Nala, honestly. The skin grows restless. It needs to feed. If it doesn't, could I be next? Fight or flight. Only now I do not run. I don't know where Sun is, so I don't want to all in here. Especially not if Lulu's gonna waste their cooldowns on me before the fight has even begun. Lula has a ward she can place. Yeah, Talon is around. It was obvious from the way Senna was pathing. Ooh. Okay. Let's try and help her. Damn, if only I could have landed a W on him. Could have ulted. Oh, my W. All good. <laughs> Suppose their dodge thing must have still been on cooldown. Must have a hella long cooldown, considering how powerful an ability it is. Let's try and crash this fast, so now let this farm. I won't bother going for the plating. So tempted to go for the pickaxe, but still like a level and a bit away from actually getting the Q evolved, so I think I may as well just go for Mythic for now. Damn. Oh, come on. I got her. Get the focus Nala here. She does mo the most damage. Fucking hell. Wait, I'm stuck here now. Okay, all good. Do I still have a ghost? I do. Okay, huge, huge. 
Probably could have played it better in some way, but I don't have time to review that. I'm a memory shit. I can't remember what the fuck just happened. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just get this little thing and leave. We don't have time to shove the next wave without kill evolve. I mean, we could, but I think it would just take too long. I don't want to delay my recall that much when I've got all the gold I need anyway. There we go. Now we are fucking massive. Damn it. Chuk -chuk. <laughs> Get up. Stand firm. I think we can just walk over mid. Uh, I think. Oh, they never mind. They just won the fight. Okay. Nice one. Does Zach have passive? No. So I wouldn't recommend him coming to dive them then. Look at that trade, holy crap. Feed the beast. Kind of W time to clear that, that's fine. If they base here, they lose the turret. Ooh, this could be very good. We don't even need to rush this, we can just take the turret first. Fucking hate her dodging thingy, man. Ooh, if Zack landed the E-Lulu lives. Oh well. Nice one. Well played, Zack. Ooh. I can't go too aggressive though because of her ultimate. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Why is there a top laner here? I'm getting out of here. Mm. I can't. We're not gonna win this, or we shouldn't be favored to win it at least. Oh! Come on! Yeah, I got him. Okay, not bad. Oh, hello, Talon. That is an issue. Ah, oh, fuck me. They're all here. Let's go, Singed. Holy fuck, he's fast. What the hell? Just shame speed doesn't increase your damage because it's very weird to look at Singed sprinting around at 9,000 movement speed and not actually doing damage. <laughs> oh. Oh, damn. Okay, not bad. I think this is gonna be a good game to do Bloodthirster third in. We're just gonna do that, even though it's gonna delay our evolve for a bit, but that's all good. Okay, you know what? I baited her flash. Worth. I could flash in a killer right now as well with the Kraken Slayer proc and Q evolve, but it's just not worth my flash. Mold cooldown, fine, but not my five minute flash cooldown. Oh, I'm getting clanked again. 
Fucking hell, the Snella. Okay. It took a lot of damage there, it didn't deal a whole lot. I'm satisfied with that. A bit sooner, my bad. We can also get blue. Blue would be nice, I don't have the base yet. Go and send another first kill. I just don't have mana, god damn it. Okay, nice one. <laughs> We're just constantly losing and regaining mana during this fight from blue. <laughs> um, okay. The fuck? Out. Could get the scromp if it spawns in a timely manner. Yeah. CBA. I can rid them of these monsters. Now we gotta evolve. Now I'm huge. Gonna be a killable with this bloodthirster, which is all I need. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, fuck me. Whoa, what, what happened to Talon there? What the fuck? Dead. Make it a quadra. Make it a quadra. Don't let me get rooted. Thank you. I got her. Thank you. Nala, you bitch. She could have been here and given me the penta. God damn it. <laughs> the one minion I didn't want to miss. Let's we'll go for Quick Cloak, even though I'd like Lost Whisper. They actually have a decent amount of armor. Tabby's on Nyla for some reason. Tabby's on Senna for some reason. Soon to be Zanya's on Cassiopeia. I spawn on Aatrox.
<laughs> I didn't need to press W there, my bad. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, she died. Perfect. Was fucking BM though that I just dodged the Cassiopeia old stun by <laughs> facing backwards with my W. <laughs> the right click would have sufficed. Oh. Okay, nice to do. Yo, what up gamers? We are back for another game of Kaisa the Diamond. This time we're going to be playing Kaisa into Zaya Thresh. And maybe with a Twitch in the lane as well, who knows. At least some of the time. Oh, shit. Looks like they were expecting us to be leashing, but we weren't. I'm going to keep going here. Oh, I have cleanse. Whoops, my bad. I thought I'd ghost like usual. Keep going, keep going. Fuck, I have no vision. Okay, we can keep the lethal temple up. We'll go on Zai here. That's worth it. Okay. I won't even crash her because my wave clear early game is just going to be too bad. We'll deny the most amount of farm as possible from Zaya just by slow pushing this. Yeah, I'm sad I used cleanse though. That was so unnecessary. Could have cleansed or exhaust. But yeah, we're running cleanse this game since we're facing Fiddlesticks. It's really good against them. Game can be kind of unplayable. Facing Fiddlesticks without cleanse. It's also decent in lane as well for getting rid of the Thresh hook stun. Should go in here. I'm um, probably dead. Okay, I'm about to get trough. Ah, I didn't get it in time though. Wait, keep going, keep going. He's got a big wave there. Oh well. Probably forced it too hard. Still not used to playing against champions with Glacial. I never expect a fucking random mess slow. Yeah, look at that. I'm just... That slow just cost me too much, my bad. I need to get used to playing around the glacial. Damn, Zai actually has a lead now. That was a big throw. And it's gonna be a bit of a rough matchup. Ideally, if you have a Twitch support, the best ADC you could be playing is Ezreal. Ezreal is really good at playing with roaming supports. Even if they're... Hang on. I think I'll actually just walk over here. So if I can help. Maybe not. Alright. Yeah, like, even when the Thresh is, like, walking up to, like, really far to zone you to try and engage on you. Obviously, Ezreal can't be less sitting, like, here. With his Q if he's getting zoned all the way to here. But what he can do is he can at least poke at the enemy support or the enemy ADC for as long as they keep trying to engage on him. They can never actually engage on him and he can just keep poking away at them. As I, all I can do is like maybe occasionally throw a W now that I got it. But uh, for the most part I deal no damage and I don't get any lost hits that I'm not in range for and I can't get in range because I'm getting zoned. So when you're playing with the wrong supports like Bard and Twitch, I think they're main two. Then that, that's absolutely the ADC you want to be picking. So much better at surviving 1v2 lanes. As I though, what we or sorry, as Kaisa though, what we want to do is just give up all the farm that we need to. And make sure we're not losing too much HP, make sure we're not getting all in. And we wait for the turret the wave to be under turret, and we lost it at there. Am I really far behind in farm? Yeah, absolutely. Look, 21 farm to 36. It's fucking awful. But at least I'm not dying. And if my Twitch can get kills from my other laners. Then that's actually more worth than the than the farm that I'm missing out on here. Nice one. I 
Yeah, we can probably crash here. I think Zaya will want the base and spend a gold. She's got an uncover for sure. Oh, hello. Maybe not then. We absolutely do want to focus Zaya here if we're going to focus anybody. Okay. Really good trade, sadly. Not a kill. Since I had just wasted my W, that could have easily been a kill. Don't force it too hard. This is going to be really bad for us if she randomly gets a kill here. Got her. Which, no. He's actually dead. <laughs> oh, I saw it coming from so far away, man. <laughs> Fucking knew he'd end up getting her kill. Oh, well. I shouldn't have hit her with W because it just baited him so hard. God damn it. I can't auto him there without getting hit by his flay as well. But what I can do is Q. Q actually has more range than his flay at least. Or it's not about the range, it's about the fact that you don't have to stop and like stand still in place. While you auto. Like the Q has no animation so you can get away with that. It's important to note under turret because if you auto Q under turret then you're going to get turret aggro if you get flayed. Or you're just straight up going to get caught in a really bad spot anyway but. Alright, we're gonna get Berserkers. Oh, they're still here. There's no need to base then. It's annoying though, because I don't have uh, really enough mana to be wave clearing here. Shit, they saw me. All good. Actually, they can't even find me though. In theory. Yeah. I can't really fight them either, like I can't afford to walk into their wave, but what I can do is just set up a freeze here mainly. Oh. Okay, Zaya dead. What about Thresh? He should be dead as well, perfect. Alright, not bad. Fucking fiddlesticks, bro. I don't know why I'm pathing here. I might have to flash his boots, right? Yeah. Ah, fuck me, man. <laughs> can't catch a break. If he decides to dive me, I will have to go up this wave. Void rule number one. I think. Actually, I've got ult. Maybe not. Well, at least Twitch got kills. There. Personally, I would have preferred to just have the freeze and base on the freeze. Nice that they died, but I got literally zero out of that. Now my wave that is fucked. Because I won't be able to crash this. I'll need the base right now. After I get this melee. Won't bother sticking around for the casters. They're not important. Even though we see Thresh mid, doesn't matter, I'm far too low to be laning 1v1 against Zaya. God, she might kill force me. Yep. Yeah, and... Flash as well. Awesome. I only just saw that she had kill force as she entered lane. That was a bit unfortunate. So now, she, he doesn't really have the kind of lead that would usually result in a... 8 minute kill force. It's the fact that she didn't spend gold on literally anything else. She must have started Longsword and no Dorn's Blade. Either that or she sold Dorn's Blade. She didn't buy boots, she didn't buy any extra daggers. Just straight rush into the guild force, just barely has it in time to make that kill happen. Quite unfortunate for me. Uh, I think she does die there. Okay, I wasn't sure. Couldn't tell how many stacks she had. <clears throat> she killed you with ult and exhaust up. There we go. Now he understands the situation. I'm sure he can be very reasonable about it. And not flame me for something that was very unlikely to happen. We'll try and crash the swift. Did Glasgow out there? Must have. I want to play some vision here and get rid of the blast gun if they have one, but with rush there, fiddlesticks might be around as well. Yeah, exactly. Let's focus on pushing this wave again. When we remove their vision, they're going to be forced to go under turret to get their farm. That should be hopefully our chance to play some vision down. I assume fiddlesticks will probably just be able to clear up, but we'll see. Oh, somebody's low there. Cast it in. Oh. 
Okay, we have some vision down now. Yep, just gonna help with the Drake over taking farm because I'm 2v1 in lane at the moment anyway. Or I would have been, I don't know where Zaya went. So just gotta be careful, he doesn't have ult. Oh, hello. I just barely don't have cleanse. Fuck. Bro, really? If I had cleanse, fuck me. I'm so lucky that I'm even alive, but I didn't get to- I literally did not touch anyone. Fucking hell. Damn, the start is just straight up down, isn't it? I think Zaya has ult as well. Ah, oh, fuck, I could have lost it that kind of with W. Hello? I got a path around. <laughs> Can't risk your guild forcing on me and killing me. So that's probably going to keep advancing there. That's probably what I would do. If I'm going to stay for whatever reason. She has a lot of gold to spend, I imagine. She just want to fight. Wait, you're kidding? She's still here. I can avoid a root, but that's it. I mean, why do I even bother cleansing though? Like, her, her exhaust was completely useless there because I, she just completely stomps me in that fight because of her massive lead. So my cleanse was useless because her exhaust was useless. I may as well have just kept my uh, cleanse. I mean, wall played to her, I guess. She knows that I'm not going to get any help from my team, especially my support. She has all the time in the world to wait for a play, which is going to be free as hell. Is our rotating mid now? Skassen is really behind as well. With ult up, I might actually be able to beat him in fights. He doesn't even have his mythic yet. Neither do I, to be fair, but... Okay, just leveled up, though. Why would Gragas come here, though? There's no point... <laughs> he can exactly uh, split push the turret by himself. Like, what do I want to go top for is the thing here. Like, no, because I can safely farm so much easier on bot lane than I can on on top lane. There's no reason to put me top lane where I'm going to be less safe. Well, let's go mid. The Zaya has like 1.5 more items than me. It's crazy. Oh boy. Like, at least watch that. We just do damage there. It was very unlikely I would get a kill unless if I played terribly. Oh yeah, fucking put a six could be there. Got no information right now. Put a six is a great anti ADHD champion because I constantly forget about threats like fiddle sticks. They're not on my screen. They don't exist.
This is my purpose. Learn from me. An enemy has been slain. Nearly got my call cashed out. We'll just need partial part of one more wave after this one. If I could get a turret here, that would be nice as well. No, I can't. <clears throat> then we'll rotate over in case we're going to be needed for a fight because at the moment there's no farm to take anyway. So aggressive, man. Looks like it's gonna work out for her, though. Probably. Yeah. Just cost her her ultimate and maybe her exhaust as well, I guess. Somebody ping that. I can do here. Now I can. God, Malphite, what are you doing? Fuck. Couldn't finish off the first six, damn it. D did my team seriously not have the capabilities to go Kaiser there as well? Or Zaya, rather. Uh, Twitch was just greeting, trying to kill for the six and stuff. Like, I, I, I was chasing both of them here, right? Maybe sh I probably should have just turned on Zaya here as the thing. Because even if I kill for the six, I still lose the fight overall, right? Whereas any damage you do onto Zaya is just like guaranteeing that she will also go down with me. And for the six might just die to some random teammate anyway. But it was a huge mistake for Twitch to just be pathing towards the fiddle sticks to try and stay in range for a Z. When we needed to be turning on Zaya. E like, either, either, like, when I pointed it out that I should have. Or right after. But the moment Twitch uses E, he doesn't really have the damage to focus eye anymore. And he did it just for a fiddlesticks kill that he didn't even get. Really? something on top lane at least they might try and I saw somebody here wasn't there I assume Cassidy looks like he's not coming for me though I guess I could go but but some threat is gonna be defended no matter where I go Actually, I probably should have rotated because my team was closer to mid than they were to bot I was the only person that could get the bot is the thing should have gone there but at least uh, Cassidy isn't pushing Now we should be able to get the turret. I'm gonna risk it. There we go. It's all gold, so 300 gold for me. I'll take whatever I can get, since I can't even get the, all of my farm, apparently. Ooh, nice fry. Alright, Vega will farm this wave. I'm just gonna base. <clears throat> I'll only stay if we turn out the... Get into a fight here. Really? Damn it. I need to flash. Ah, I can't. Ah, damn it. Holy fuck, I'm alive. Let's 
gonna say I need to flash the Malphite ult, but that was still CC'd. Can I touch this guy? Ah, he's dead. Okay, nice. Only the Zaya wasn't part of the fight, and she's their strongest member, so... Not a great fight for them to take. Break up in 46. Spend our golden time for that. How much AP does Vagar have? 160 from his passive, not bad. Is that a free kill on Fiddlesticks, I see? Nice one. Vega still his ult as well. Cassidy is pushing top for some reason. Or sorry, not Cassidy, Malphite. Guess he just doesn't want to win the game. We have a really good comfort dealing with Malphite as well since we have double AP. No, triple AP, sorry. I don't even need to necessarily build early armor pen for Malphite to be killable. This blows. <laughs> Not bad. Could have cleansed the threshold, but it wouldn't have helped at all there. Because either way, like the, it removes the CC of the hook, but it, the hook does still stay attached to you. So Thresh could still just queue onto me and flame me, which is all it takes to kill me there. Oh lord. Okay. Nice one. Twitch? I don't know why Twitch is just running away there. What? That didn't make sense. I should have sold my call for Quick Lock. Oh no. Like, I don't know if Twitch uh, staying there would have mattered considering the Fiddlestick Salt anyway, but it was so terrible for him to just walk out there. He could easily sidestep the Xy ult. I gotta thin out the melees from the wave first, otherwise I'm not gonna do no damage to her. That's why I wasn't thinning her up first. Plus, look at that. She already recovers all that HP. The more I try and protect this turret, the more at risk I would be. But, looks like I'm safe. I'll get wolves and then I can just get... Um, Navori without having to solve my call. Kill Zion, we win. Easier said than done, buddy. Which is the, probably the best anti-assassin ADC in the game. Super good ADC for solo queue for that reason. Small fight. That guy is huge. 526 armor. 350 <laughs> without his W passive. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> I fucking hate that this is the second time in like two days that I died to a Malphite doing that. Okay, nice. Not bad. Just flashing on me and running me down with the slows. The cleanse is slow and it does nothing. Did I at least flash for that? No. 
no. Oh, bud. I mean, this team was completely out of position, right? I would literally go solo killed by Malphite in the middle of three people. Wait, how did Fiddlesticks are hurt me? What? Oh, right at the very end. Yeah, I wouldn't say that that was a very expected play. I can't really go Bloodthirster here because I'm too behind. It's too expensive when you're behind. I need to go for the cheap damage options. He's dead there, I think. Perfect. Try and get him off out, I guess. What is this battle of the tanks? Thank God he doesn't have the damage to kill me. Does so much damage though. <sighs> Gragason went in way too early, I think. I need to go behind there. Oh god damn it! You're fucking shitting me, man. <laughs> Where did he come from? Oh no. <laughs> you see how fucking hard it is for us to kill Zaya? She was dead to rights there. There was a, a one chance and we just got fucking five men feared by fiddlesticks. Alright, where did that come from? Was it just sitting in that brush? No, uh, it was probably over this wall. God damn, there's so lucky. I think I just barely got hit by that. What I should have done was go max range towards Zaya. I think I... Yeah, I basically went right on top of Zaya. Look, if I just gone slightly further above, it's not like I knew I was gonna get ulted by Fiddlesticks, right? So it's not too bad, but like, fuck, man. But I needed to go behind her though, just to make sure the feathers couldn't hit me. That was the only thing I was thinking about. The only thing I could have known might target me. We can get him. Nice one. That's not over chase, we don't know where Fiddle is. Oh no, you didn't need the flash, buddy. I was saving ultimate just in case he was gonna get away. Oh well. I can base, I can solve my call for Runans. Oh, hello. What the fuck? They just accidentally found me. <laughs> Please! For oh, fuck's sake. I'm dead. I use my fucking cleanse only to remove the red buff slow. This was so unexpected, man. It came out of nowhere. Another Penta for another enemy. Ah, it's just so annoying this game, man. See the Malphite ulting in on me and killing me in the middle of five people, or it's Zaya just guilt forcing into my entire team and killing me. It's not fun. I don't have any peel. Ooh, 
shoot that. Kassen will just stand while Zai is distracting them. Oh, so close. <laughs> oh, rep. Yep, close one. Shame about the early game throw in the laning phase. Oh, well. GG. Yo, what a gamers. We are back for another game of Kaiser the Diamond. This time we're playing Kaiser Soraka against Thresh Karthus. Which I guess is an okay matchup. I don't know. Now when you come and let's see. We got Ghost, which is going to be really good against Karthus and Lanes. This is going to allow us to have more move speed to dodge his Qs. Move speed is actually very important against Karthus. It's f it's for that same reason that every Karthus player always runs Exhaust. Yeah, so they can reduce your movement speed to make it easier on them to land Qs. So we're going to increase our movement speed to make it easier on us to dodge the Qs. Alright, we're about to hit level 2 early here. Alright, not bad. God damn, that Q did 11 damage to Thresh. I can see, I need to run. Gonna pop ghost. Oh, this could be good. Hmm, maybe not so. I wasn't gonna get hit anyway. But now I'm getting zoned out of my lane. Well, I suppose it's decent so long as I don't die, but I'm gonna die. Fuck. Okay, this blows. <laughs> That really blows. Look at Cole. On the bright side, the wave stuff was decent for us. They're missing out on CS the longer they stay here. Oh, and they got Cole and fillable as well. My flash was a complete waste though. I dodged the hook without it. Okay, on the bright side, Karthus only got assists, so... Oh wait, what? Oh, this wave stuff isn't even that good. Thought it was pushing harder towards us. It's not even pushing towards us at all, it's actually just frozen for them. Okay, then it's not that good. Disaster for us. At least I got an assist. One assist. The match got this is three. I think we just need to keep pushing here. I'm not sure this is ever going to push back towards us. Unless we force it to crash and reset. There we go. It was actually a very easy W to land because I knew that he was going to get blocked by minions so he couldn't dodge to the left. Pretty much a guaranteed hit if you aim it to the right-ish. They definitely got a stronger early game combo than us though, so now that we're behind, yeah, no, I'm just not gonna bother contesting stuff anymore. We we'll just play it safe, full of skill. Hello. <laughs> Thresh is flush, I'm fucked. God, I'm still slow actually. Okay, all good. Hold our grounds. Attack them in theirs. An ally has been slain. This place is beautiful. I'm going to Oh, 
Oh, he actually went straight for me. What the fuck? Alright, at least I live. I would like to disengage that. Oh, Kathos has no mana. We could have actually fought, maybe. Still, I mean, they could just walk away. Oh, shit. Yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> nah, not a pussy. Just didn't notice his mana. Besides, we know we're playing weak side. Exactly. I gotta give these up. Could use Q, but I'd rather just save my mana for something else. So I can no mana to heal me with. Okay, we're getting a Vex gang. She's level six. Zed could be in literally any brush, by the way, and he would basically one shot me with a Q. Zed is still around, then Sorak is about to die. <laughs> I can't even ignore this wave. I'm gonna literally die to this wave if I try and walk past it. Oh man. Yeah, there's the Zed. Okay, so Rock with Flash is gonna be able to survive. I do not have Flash, so I would not have survived. Looking like another rough game of weak side ball lane. The void consumes everything, leaving only emptiness. Well, especially doing mid. I guess he wants to contest Herald. Just gonna play some vision there. <sighs> Damn. Okay, that's a wasted Goth Assault at least. Can really punish a Thresh Roam with this bot lane. <laughs> what the fuck? He does not react to my dodging pattern at all. <laughs> what the fuck? It, it, each time I just juke left to right, left to right, left to right, and he just... I'm so fucked here, though. No, oh, I missed it. Damn it, I needed to land that W for that kill. Fuck, but with Anivia, without Anivia there, we would just win that. It's literally just weak side bolting every time. But it's not literally weak side bolting, because, I mean, weak side is basically like when your jungler path is top. And the enemy jungler path is bot, and that just continues over and over and over. But, uh, like, regardless of whether Kha'Zix was pathing, pathing towards bot or not, he didn't exactly play around us, he didn't gank us, except, you know, way after we'd already died. And I don't want to say, like, just because my like just because my jungler doesn't gank doesn't mean he's, um, like, playing worse than enemy jungler, right? It could just be he didn't find any good opportunities, maybe he just found better opportunities somewhere else on the map. I don't want to call my jungler worse than the enemy jungler just because he didn't gank my lane and win it for me, you know? But, it's undeniable that, uh... If, obviously, if I'm getting ganked by the enemy jungler and I'm not getting ganked from my jungler, then obviously I'm gonna fucking lose my lane. And it is, it is what it is. So that's why I call weak... Why, is, when I, why I sometimes say weak side when it's not literally weak side? Because the alternative is call my jungler worse than the enemy jungler, which is not entirely true. Friend versus Drake. Awkward thing is I have to stand a vision because I can't afford to stand outside of the pit or deeper in the pit. Oh fuck me. Do we get this? Oh thank god. 
Okay. At least we got that. I was fully aware that I was probably giving my life for that. Oh. Damn. Okay, at least it goes thrush. That's not bad. wall there we go what no fucking way she's gonna escape <laughs> wait is that i think i got him fuck it wasn't enough i didn't get my second battle off okay he's dead here though i keep fucking losing vision it's so annoying okay is there a thrush in here no there's a thrush here though Fuck, I actually need to not escape from this, uh, brush cage. No, I was so fucking close. God damn it. Man. Probably can't some out of the wood got me the kill as well. It's a rough game, man. It's a rough game. Freeze it, yep. Yeah. Drag it out as well. Nobody knows how to freeze properly. Yeah, that's fine. As long as it's not going under through it. It's also better to drag the minions closer to their wave, though, rather than letting your wave collide with it first. This world has changed. We decide into what. I'm just gonna, like, push this as slowly as possible, and I have no need to overextend. I exert zero pressure on the map right now. Anybody can 1v1 me. I'm far too behind. So instead of pressuring, I just want to free farm. I'll only push if I see, like, the enemies fully grouped on some other lane. Meanwhile, if Karthus wants to farm here, yeah, he's gonna have to overextend. Oh, Karthus seems to see him. Maybe? I'm taking so much fucking minion aggro here, buddy. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Dude, we took so long that the enemies are here, man. These guys were mid. Lows. I just wanted to free farm. Yeah, I'm down to FF this. Feels like there's hardly any point in playing this out. Ten seconds, twelve seconds. Freeze it again, make sure this doesn't colli collide with the turret. Come on, everybody. Come on. Come on. We're almost there. Just one more vote. There we go. GG. Yo, what up, gamers? We are back for another game of Kaisa the Diamond. Gonna be playing Kaisa Rakan into Zaya. And Lux. I think we're gonna be like slightly unfavored in this matchup, but that's all right. Should be okay. Like we still have a chance of just outplaying them and getting a two v two win. And if not, then as long as we don't get stomped, then we're sh we should skill nicely. Definitely have to concede some CS and or well. At least some uh, prio in the early levels, though. We can try it against Lux when our E is down, though. 
But melee Rakan is just not all that useful in the early levels because his level 1 engage does very little damage and has very little range. He has no escape, so it's very risky. Get it, get it, get it. Nice. So we just play it fairly passive for now. Better sex does not want to be there, but I guess he's not really going to be able to escape. If he went to the left, he would still get just collapsed on by Oswell. Should have really not been going for this good crab when we have no power on bot lane. At least now that the wave is pushing towards them. They would have to trade into a pretty big wave here if they want to trade against me, so I can actually play a little bit aggressively now as well. Okay, that's good. Oh, fucking listen. I'm fine here, I got ghost. That's fine. Ooh, actually I was aiming for Lux there, but that W is a lot better on Zaya. Nice one. I don't want to keep complaining about the jungle gap every game, but man, is it hard not to. Oh, what? Wait, I'm blind. What the fuck? Didn't see that coming. Start crashing this now, I think. Could maybe do it if Rakan would help, but I don't have time to get him to start doing it. This world is changing. We decide into what. If he's gonna keep getting them to stay, the least he could do is actually hand me the heals, man. I could have a big HP lead over Zyra right now if he gave me those two heals. We don't want to crash this web, actually. Wanna crash the next one. I can, this one was a kind of wave, so I can take a while to crash. We don't want this, we also don't want to be too overextended here when we crash this wave in case Lee is still around. See, this is the wave that we're gonna crash because we have a really big wave here. And ideally, the further we are to our side of the lane, the better. If In terms of um, safety. Now, we could base, but I feel like Zaya wants to base even more than me. She's probably gone, well... Probably, yeah, she probably got more gold than me thanks to the two assists she has. Alright, nice. She, had, she definitely wants the base, so we'll just keep her shoving waves. Can we see Lee mid? I think he's gonna be headed bot side. Careful. Is he dead? He is dead. I need to leave this. <laughs> Good boy, ping themselves so I don't have to. <laughs> Okay, yeah, next wave is a cannon wave and Zaya's out of mana. I'll be good just basing here. Oh, this is a really nice base. I like this.
Ooh. I think I'm gonna give up the rest of this wave. I'm already six anyway. Got it. Okay, I won't have to use ult. Perfect. Nice one. That was definitely worth giving up some farm for. I like it here. I just might stay. Can't believe we got that Drake. And that was because our top laner of all people just roamed bot and got it. <laughs> Survival is an instinct we all have. Zad currently doesn't have level six. Oh, what the fuck? What are the odds of her hitting six there? What? I could literally kill her right now, man. I could have popped Ghost and kept going on her. I would have used my ultimate to dodge her E. Like, fuck, man. That's so annoying. She was barely even in range for XP. That actually pisses me off so much. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, well. Holy shit. Trying to give her Kana a dash. Oh, he's got no shield, does he? Well, that blows. He did, the worst part is his shield was actually a complete waste. He shielded to give me the heal, but he could have just walked over to me. He like, he was like right here and shielded onto me. You know, it's completely unnecessary. And it got him killed. I was thinking it at the time. I didn't bother saying anything though, because it seemed fairly inconsequential. But it seems less inconsequential now that he's dead. Ten seconds later. Up, oh, shit. I'm dead. I can't bolt. Can't target anybody. That sucks. My bad. Good Q from ult, uh, from Lux. And I shouldn't have even been approaching that wave at all. I didn't even have enough AD to actually loss it any of the casters. So I was there for nothing. Just that. I'm gonna go Trump. Okay, I'm okay. Barely. Nearly got W. What? Fucking Kraken Slayer. Okay, at least I got 400 gold. Jesus. Worth it for me, but the. Uh... Really? How much? Okay, so this did 188 damage. How much HP did I have? Because I, th I was thinking I would survive one auto. I had 103 HP. No, what? Ooh, it's really hard to tell, actually. She might have done the exact amount of damage that she needed to kill me even without the true damage. Let me see. Okay, 108, 108, 116, 121. I'd probably, w yeah, I would have lived if not for the true damage proc then. And I didn't even know she had that item, honestly. <laughs> not bad. Look to me, I had to, like in my head, I had it all ma completely mapped out. I was like, yep. Have just about enough HP to survive one auto so I can bait her into autoing me and I'll just trade one for one. Or trade one for zero rather, but nope, it's a fucking one for one trade. Because she had the goddamn Kraken Slayer proc and the exact auto I went to trade with her.
I don't know if I can do Gromp. So much easier to do Golems if you want to farm a camp. As ADC. Which is weird, which is funny because the like previous season used to be the exact opposite where bot lane was hugely favored because they could access Gromp, which is so much better. At least we're getting another Drake. I'm fairly confident they're gonna finish that. I'm just gonna focus the Grump. Yeah, look at her doing golems just like me. Well, that's not working as intended, is it? It clearly told me the ward was going to go in the brush instead of just moved me. I right, can't get that one. Oh, hello. Nice one. Bit silly from to engage in that dive for so long. Get up. Stand firm. Well, I'm just fucking dead, aren't I? Or am I? Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, maybe not then. Holy fuck! Did she react to the fiddlesticks, old? Oh, fuck me. My bad. Okay, nice. Whoa. What was up with that Tristolt? Okay. Yeah, no, we'll do double long sword, sell so a for it. Can't get pickaxe. At least we're getting every Drake. Yeah, that's what Fiddlesticks is doing well. Like, you see what I mean? Like, just because your jungler is not ganking for you does not mean they're a bad player, does not mean they're getting outperformed by the enemy jungler. Is it really fucking frustrating if my lane is getting completely lost because every time there's a fight, Lee is there? Or even when there's not a fight, we're still getting ganked all the time and my jungler is nowhere to be seen? Of course. Doesn't mean the jungler can't be winning the game on other lanes or doing other stuff to get himself ahead that's going to allow him to carry, you know? That's why I prefer to call it weak-sided rather than jungle gap, even if it's technically not the correct usage of weak side. Because, you know, it, at least that isn't blaming your jungler for being a worse player when they might not be. Let go of the anger. I go bot? Sure. Holy shit, nice one. Jungle gap! Oh. Wait, no way, what? What the fuck, how did that happen? Oh, for the she probably didn't have smite. Holy shit, he did have ult, he just didn't use it. We can go top. Get this turret. Granted, if we stay here too long, we might miss the Drake, so I don't know if it's even worth it. Then again, just because we go to Drake area does not mean we're guaranteed to get the Drake, whereas this turret is probably free.
Hmm. Maybe not so now that Sai is here. Okay, her wave is not good enough. Whoa! Buddy? Oh, that's good. Mordekaiser still has ult, I believe. Wait, fuck, he's got Rallis as well. Oh, I took the gamble. But I could just kite around him if he ulted me, but I can't kite around this fucking passive with Rallis. Oh, well. Yeah, I had Ghost up and I had the up. I was like, yeah, you know what, fuck it, I can run circles around them. Nope. My bad. I should have just left it at the luck skill. Or maybe I should have gone on Zai, let me see. There's a world where maybe I just uh, should have let Lux escape and just go on Zaya. Nah, there's no chance. I can't hit Zaya either, is the thing. Zaya's being protected by, by Mordekaiser. Lux is the only one that's vulnerable to me. So I made the right call and going for Lux. I just couldn't afford to go for Zaya after. Or Mordekaiser for that matter. I just can't survive him. Yeah, I'll go here. Wait, I, mm? not if nobody's gonna catch this wave. It's too late to go for that wave now. I'll stick around for this one. Then maybe rotate bot. Okay, fight over. Then I'll put go pick up red buff and go top. Did we get the Drake? We did. Cool. One more wave. Now we recall. Or go for Yasuo. Holy fuck, that one shot. Jesus. 25 Magi stacks on the fiddle stacks. Maybe we just rotate here at the fight. I think maybe once I've got Runance. Or at least once I've got Evolve, I can actually survive Morikaz's ult. <laughs> oh, sorry. Alright, I could really do with basing now. But I guess rushing Baron is also good. <laughs> so there's no point in tanking this, he doesn't really die to this Baron. He's got too much healing for that. Shouldn't have used my W on this, I should only use Q I think. It's all good. I have enough mana for it anyway. Nice one. Huge. Is there blue up? It is. Then let's get it. Gonna want it to sustain my Novori spam. I think I can also go for this wave. Now we're finally out. <clears throat> what the fuck is this Lee symbol, by the way? I was spared for you. I came for the hunt.
Should eventually be an easy kill on Yasuo. Oh no. Chen, the last thing you needed to do was use your E. Okay. It's all good. He must have had a wind wall there, right? They just didn't use it. You got Greedy trying to get the kill for himself on a supportive tank. Which almost made it so none of us could get the kill. Alright, looks like they surrendered. Alright. Much better game than the previous one. GG. Yo, what up gamers? We are back for yet another game of Kaisa to Diamond. This time we're playing Kaisa Lux into Ezreal Pike. Which I think should be a decent match for us in the early game. Since Ezreal doesn't have the greatest follow with the Pikes engage. However, it is a matchup where... Ezreal can, or Pike can just go roam, and Ezreal is gonna, gonna be hard to punish. Annoying in that sense, so. Just a, uh, it doesn't matter unless Pike actually roams, we'll see. Uh, what the fuck, I thought I was dc there, what the fuck, nobody was moving. I was like, what the hell? Ezreal no moving, Pike no moving, even though the Lux is, e is on him. Lux not using E, even though it could hit Pike. <laughs> what? This guy still isn't moving, is he just DC'd? Yeah, he is. I'm sorry, but I'm desperate for diamond. Whoa. Oh, he's trolling. Why? Okay. Interesting start to the game. Let's just go ahead and crash this as fast as we can and recall. I can make it Fucking hard to get all the lost heads as Kaisa. Unless you want to push really slowly. Okay, well, he's not running it down this time. I, I won't bother with the pink with the gold. Oh, shit. If he survives this, he has flash. Nice one. So much attention from there. Who fl somebody flashed him. Who was it? Pink flash, or four flash. Yeah, that's a pike flash. Yeah, I only saw the pike flash, but maybe G4 flashed on Zed. Well, it indeed looks like it's gonna be those one one of those Ezreal 1v2 situations, so we cannot punish because we don't have that potential. At least until level 6. Didn't quite catch where Pike went. Is he coming back bot? Okay, we got some vision down. This isn't necessary to kill, necessarily to kill him, but it is going to do a lot of damage. Look at that. I'd say that's worth my ghost cooldown. So what we need to do now is just crash this and make sure that he doesn't have enough time to base here to get his HP back. That way, potentially, like, hopefully he's going to just die under turret. Like, he's got no potions besides his cookies. Okay, Pike is back in the lane now. I want to save my mana for only Ezreal, I think. I'm gonna lead, need Lux to step up a bit more aggressively than that and poke the Ezreal. Thank you. The 
If I land the W on him, then flash auto. That would kill him. Damn. Worth a shot. Flash auto Q, I mean. Tape, just stupidly hard to punish for being 1v2 in lane. All we can try and do is dive him. But we're gonna have to leave just to help out this guy, I guess. No, we don't. I'm gonna get this plating and maybe I can just dive Agile as well. Okay, nice. Oh, he's he's got exhaust, fucking hell. Ow. Fucking hell, why is... And mid laner here. Okay, nice. Come on. No! Damn it! Okay, they're at least dead, right? Holy fuck, Azula 6. Because it gets all that solo XP from being alone, it's just so annoying. Stupidly hard to punish. Alright, nice one. Alright, if only I hadn't taken all that damage though from the turret. Uh. Yeah, we'll do this. She needs to crash this. Ah, uh, but she has no mana. It sucks that. Never mind. Don't bother. Hmm. It would be fine if she would, honestly. Obviously, I can't have him now, so nothing to do here. Uh, what we should do is get Drake at some point. We'll also place a ward here. There we go, we got a lot of vision right now. Oh, and yeah, I can definitely go for a ink on Rumble. Come on, got him. Nice one. Oh, didn't mean to click that. Dead. Nice one. Oh, I lost vision though. I tried to ult onto him. Maybe I keep going for him. Yep, there's a red buff here. Ah, uh, but I can't reach him though. Lux, come here. Lux. Lux, I'm gonna fucking die to J4 here. J4? Oh my god, J4. Alright, thank you for the help, Lux! Thank you for believing me, knowing I could 1v1 that guy. with the red buff. I don't get to steal the red now, though. I'm not healthy enough. Just gonna get this and leave. This guy's fucking stolen. Oh, okay. Well, what a waste of time. <coughs> Oh, you're fucking shitting me, man. I think I'm dead here. Bro, really? Do what I could. <laughs> this game is so annoying. Okay, nice. So, so annoying, man. I stuck around all the time to get the Scuttle Crab because it's stolen by my jungler. My base kicks cancelled the last second by Rumble. Jesus Christ, man. But at least Lux is getting solo XP. Oh my lord. Is he that too? Nope. I'm not that lucky. Okay. Just throwing a blind W. Okay. We have no idea where he went then. Could have finished his recall by now for all I know. God damn it.
So I'm definitely dead, but I can probably take them pipe with me, hopefully. Perfect. Oh, but how does he go to Lux? How, man? Okay, at least I got an assist off J4 too. Oh, man. <laughs> Rumble. Man, these, these games on this video have not been enjoyable, I gotta say. Just so much frustration. <laughs> it's also necessarily hard to get the diamond considering all of our opponents are either D3 or D2 and we're just trying to get into D4. Oh, he's rotating. Just hand over that skittle crap, don't fight over a skittle. Oh. It was low. But I'm not sure what would have been smart to ult onto him. Actually, he's gonna be basing now, or should be. Let's make him miss some farm. Okay, he's staying. Then maybe we dive. Thing is, J4 is gonna be around probably, unless he's helping mid right now. Yeah. I got him. There we go. Fucking hell. Ow. Alright, with some damage. Wait, holy hold up. What what is my build? What is my build? What is my build? Why did I build the call fields? Excuse me? I mean I guess it works. Did, but did I have uh, did I have a chance to finish Kraken Slayer? Probably not, right? I guess it's fine, but what the fuck? I didn't even realize what I was doing. I thought I had... I thought I had uh, Mythic already when I built Caulfields. Whoops. Alright, let's get this to it. Next objective up is gonna be Drake. There's no point in rotating top to try and take the turret because Teemo is gonna be too effective, I think, at defending the turret. So we'll just keep farming, stay around bot side, and eventually get the Drake. I can go for golems right now. One, I'm on the way. <laughs> what the fuck, Pike? <laughs> cool. This second skin gave me a second life. I will not take it. Hello. Ah, oh, fuck me. Eh, whatever, I was gonna die anyway, 1v1, I guess. That was a lot of damage from Timo. At least I didn't have a shutdown. Ooh. <laughs>
Trumbull ruined my enjoyment of this game just to go 5 and 7 with 90 CS at 5 minutes. Fucking bastard. <laughs> nice. I'm going for it. God damn fucking Teemo. He's the one person who could actually deny me the kill. <laughs> Fuck me. J4 could handle, Pika could handle, Ezreal could handle, but fucking Teemo, really? This happens to be hovering around the side. Is he gonna warm me nine? Ooh. Oh no. The blind is too strong. This Teemo has had like six kills in the space of two minutes, I wanna say. I wanna build QSS for him at some point. Maybe after Renance. Ooh, wow. Holy shit. Uh. Yeah, I can't exactly do much there. Uh, I really will go bot, I'll just go mid. Come on, Lux, you can do it. Oh. Close. But you're seeing exactly why I didn't want to like, swap the top. Imagine fucking trying to take a threat against the Teemo. With all of his shrooms and all of his blinds. What a waste of time that would have been. Get up. Stand firm. Nobody top, I guess I'll get him myself. Ooh, can I get this cannon? Uh just barely not. I'm probably called Rumble for real this time though, right? Got him. Can't kill Pike, but whatever. Ooh, can we? Oh, wow, Jesus, that damage. <laughs> okay, I might actually just... Ah, oh, no, I can't do that. I was thinking of maybe doing double dagger and QSS, but I don't want to. Like, I, I can't take. Oh, I can only do that if I sell Doran's Blade, which is definitely not worth it. It'll just have to be after Runins. Oh, this could be good. <laughs> nice. Although what I could do is zeal into uh, QSS. That would actually give me evolve and have enough slots. Oh my lord! Okay. Nice. Thank God this Vlad is so strong. <laughs> The one guy who doesn't give a shit about the Teemo blind. We could rush it. It's gonna use only my mana on you actually. I think that's the most mana efficient move. For DPS. Ow. Go mana for ult if I need it. Oh my lord. Jeez, the Lux does a ton of damage. Should've gone for that, Skittle Crab. 
Yeah, I'm definitely just gonna go into QSS to uh, giggle fuck this Teemo. He's pissed me off. Now he'll feel my wrath. Ah, I'm not gonna get red. Holy shit, that was a close one. Oh wait, no, I didn't mean to... Blue Trinket that, I just wanted to ping it. Hello? Okay, I don't have QSS yet, let's not go to ham here. Oh, no way! I was trying to get Teemo. Fucking go. Hey, where did the team mushroom go? Ah, oh, yeah, sure. Alright, GG. Yo, what up, gamers? We are back for another game of Kaiser the Diamond. After the last game, we're officially back in Diamond promos. So, let's hope these promos are finally the ones that allow us to. Break into diamond and end the series for now. Although I might just have like, I might occasionally just keep on playing on this account to make videos out of it, just streaming the or not streaming, but recording the grind to master on Kaisa. I know some of you are interested in that. I wouldn't do it too much though. I'd rather focus on my other series, but something I'd be interested in doing sometime. That was uh <laughs> funny engage, funny trade. Anyway, yeah, for this matchup, uh, Kai'Sa, Alistar, it's actually a really good bot lane. Problem is, it's fairly low range engage. You know, uh, we've mentioned before in this video that what we need against Kaelin is Kai'Sa is engage. We have it, but it's fairly low range. You really would rather have high range engage into Kaelin since she's a pretty high range champion. Yeah, I just have to back off here. <clears throat> so level 1 Alistar is pretty much nothing unless he wants to flash Q, which doesn't do, like... Amazing damage or amazing lockdown. So at the moment we're just going to be getting our asses beat. And even once he's got all his abilities, it really requires a kill and overextend. For us to be able to do much to fight back. For the moment, we just want to try and preserve our HP if we can. Probably already took more damage than I should have, but we got a potion. We're back to near enough full HP. Oh, ow. I was thinking in my head, why, Alistar? Why? Why aren't you prepping this minion for me? Why? So I was a bit distracted. Oh, shit. Nah, just disengage. It's much better to engage on the Kaelin if possible. Hitting Renata there just forces us to use all our cooldowns on Kaelin when... Sorry, on Renata when Kaelin can just really hit us and not take damage back. This is the next wave kind of wave it is. Oh, hello. Come on. Sadly, I can't get that kill for myself. Ah. Damn it. Does he at least out of me? He does. Perfect. Okay, not bad. I'm certain I could have played that better, but it will. I'm sad that Killen didn't die to anybody though. Not to Alistar, not to me. Got Ignite as well. Could have at least got the kill for himself, maybe. <clears throat> oh, I don't know if he did this on purpose. That's super nice. The way you just dragged this wave out slightly. Kinda still dies, unfortunately, but... 
And another game, another life. That would have just secured me a cannon. So what I want Alistar to do here is just sit in that brush exactly. He's got Hexaflash to pressure with. He, she's not respecting it. Nope. You can stay in the brush. Because nope. she's got a pink, so if we see the pink getting placed, we can pretty much guess where it's being placed, usually. Okay, not if she's gone for that long. Could be anywhere. Oh, they're doing Drake. Yeah, let's ignore this wave. Bit unideal that I'll miss out on it, but... Just go for Kayla. I know she has no... Or presumably has no flash. Just ignore kill him for now, I think. I've nearly got E. Fuck, let me have it. Ah, oh, well. It's hard to communicate it. Ah, oh, I really wish I could have got some kills there instead of only assists. Oh, well. Because I, I just give up a lot of farm for this. Hopefully I can at least get this cannon. Perfect, okay. It's not too bad then. But yeah, the Alistair thing was pretty understandable. He didn't know my E cooldown. He didn't know that I could get him range. But I know it, so I'm sad about it. Maybe it's worth going for this plating. I usually wouldn't bother, except there's such a large minion wave here. Oh. Well, that minion aggro may have fucked me. Okay, I'm good. Now, if they, if they didn't arrive in lane so fast, it would be really free to go for that plating, because the wave is so massive, it just does a billion damage to it, but... I just can't afford to stick around that long. We'll just go for the new quiver here, since we can't afford Berserkers. Berserkers would be nice, though. This, is, this will be better for less hitting, though, but Berserkers would definitely make it easier to follow up on Alistar engages. And maximize our all-in potential. Without Berserkers, it's, it just makes it easier for Kaelin to just walk away from us after taking a bad trade. It's very satisfying lost sitting with Cassiopeia. Decent trade. He actually hit her. Did she waste her net there? I think she did. We'll pop ghost. No way! Okay, thankfully, you can see that ghost pretty much has the same effect as Berserkers. They take a really bad trade, and so they want to walk away from it, right? They want to disengage it, but I don't want to let them disengage it. I don't want to. I don't want them to walk away from it. I want to keep it going. So we keep running at them, and the higher movement speed, the longer we can drag it out. Thankfully, in this case, this probably worked out even better than having Berserkers, since the ghost was active throughout the whole fight. But Berserkers will make us less dependent on Ghost for that kind of thing. I assume we're getting ganked because she surely wouldn't go for this alone, right? Nice one. I don't know what she was thinking there. It's like I said, I assumed we were getting ganked, right? Because no way she would do that alone, right? But she did it alone. Or what? I don't know. Awesome. Alright, I'm no longer sad. <laughs> this is the most satisfying landing phase we've had so far. This place is I'm going to Solid Star plays well. Ooh, okay, I didn't get hit. Was the mid laner? Salas. He seems to be on the way. I recommend retreating. Skedaddling. 
one might say. Oh, I could already get Kraken Slayer. Fuck it, let's try it. <clears throat> it's gonna pop off super hard whenever we have Ghost up. We have that up in like a minute, so we can think of it as like an ultimate cooldown. As soon as our ultimate comes up, boom, three kills with our Kraken Slayer. Only a child, and no one came to save me. Oh boy. I should have got mid as well. Although I would have arrived too late anyway, but should have been my thought process actually looking at the action going on there. Fucking hell, do I need to defend there? E no, I can just trade turrets, I think. I'm also tempted to go kill J4 on the Drake. Should I do it? Because this turret is going to take forever, fuck it. I'm a bit too late. Oh, got him! Ekrim doesn't have smite, so we wait for their, wait for them to leave, and boom, awesome. I want to keep going here. Ooh, I'm on the way. Got her. Okay, no flash, but we still have the ghost in case we want to use that for a fight soon. Hello. I'm not gonna let her recall here. Get fucked. I think Ellen is staying here, but she will get dived by me if she does. So I'm saving mana. I need to have enough mana to kill her if she stays. It looks like she isn't. I should be fine if I just delay this. I don't, don't imagine I'm getting ganked by J4, given our vision, but it's possible. Okay, cool. So the benefit of doing that is that, uh... Okay, I'm gonna pop Ghost. I was actually thinking of running with it, but this actually works fine too. Oh, my bad. Okay, whatever, we burnt the flash with the Ghost. <laughs> Worth, I'd say. I'm gonna have to give a farm here, sadly. Down there, I was surrounded by nothingness. But I was never alone. Memories come with like a Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Thank God. For the W hitbox as thick as Kaisa's butt. Ah, oh, let's try and pressure mid now. <laughs> Don't know where Alistar's going. Ooh, this could be good. This could be very good. Oh hell, fuck no. Like, really? Fuck's sake. My bad, I guess. Bit unlucky, though. That would've been a lot better if Alistar didn't troll this pathing, though. It's the small things. On the surface, it just looked like Alistar was being a little bit silly. But with it, like, it wouldn't have much of a consequence. But in the end, he's just not next to me to peel me when that happens because of it. Oh no. 
Renato revives. I need to go bot. Well, that was a disaster. Did I give a big shot down? Yeah, f well, 500 to J4, that's actually not bad. Not that fa not that 500 isn't a lot, it's 800 total, which is, is a lot, but... It's only to J4 who scales pretty bad anyway, so I don't care too much. Would have been a lot worse if it was to Silas or Caitlyn. Fucking hell, another wave approaches. So she's not isolated. All good. Nice one. Oh, hello. I'm dead. <laughs> Man. If you're not gonna- like, if Alistar isn't gonna stand next to me at all times and just make sure I'm safe, then he at least needs to place enough vision. I can't even blame myself too much for a death like this. Because, like, what am I meant to do? Like, death like this? Into mid lane? No. <laughs> I need to take some risks, right? <laughs> Maybe I could have taken a slightly lesser one and pathed through here, but you th you're telling me they can't just camp from here? Obviously they can. I need vision. <laughs> Hecarim, what was that? Oh no. That was really bad. I can't pull the fucking killing, god damn it. Okay, this is good though. I can't fucking see this trap, god damn it. Ugh, give me up. Okay. No! Um, Alice, or Salas? What the fuck? Thank you. He was out. He was out and then he came back in. Don't W him away. Don't W him away. Just keep tanking. Let's fucking go. There we go. Who's the run now, bitch? There's a castle with peel. Ah, oh. Alistar doesn't get the cannon. I don't get the cannon. Oh man, nine gold away. That especially hurts. She's probably dead here. <laughs> yep. Fuck it. Oh, she's really just gonna kill herself there just to kill, just to cancel my recall, huh? Do you think that's smart? The only thing that could safely cancel my recall, she wasted on Cassiopeia. Her Q can't travel through minions. <laughs> and the autos are just get, just get her too close to me. <laughs> Holy shit, look at my gold. Felt that one. Go on the way. Ah, that's the way. He's got no EQ combo, he's dead. Fucking hell. Thank you, Alistar. Holy shit. Nope. Fuck, man. Damn it, that fucking Silas goes nuts with Alistar Ultimate. Blows. Oh no. Vokas is ult. Oh, wait, this is just Herald. Never, er, sorry, it doesn't have ultimate TP, but this is just Herald, not Baron. Thank God Baron wasn't up or they could they would have just taken it for free. I think she's fucked. Let's just stopwatch. Ooh. Ah, yeah, there it is. 
Damn. Actually, would have been fun if York didn't have flush, though. Probably. Fucking hell, this Alice is null to my cooldown. If Eric stays bot, then I'm going bot. Okay, clearly has vision. Ah, oh, I'm trapped inside. How the fuck am I trapped inside? Alright, there we go. Swirl's on the outside. Do I have the base here? I don't think so. Everything that I lost it, I'm gonna do it with autos though, in case I need lifesteal. In case uh, somebody actually comes for me here. Okay. <clears throat> Go for him. Fuck's sake. He's dead, he's dead. They forced way too hard even though most of my team didn't try and kill me. Okay. Fucking hell, that was such an overforce, you see that? I would've been so annoyed if I actually died to that and he didn't. Ooh, nice shutdown again. That's a free brand for us. Yeah, main cast can dual Baron, I guess Sekrim can probably solo that. Oh, fucking Yorick, do we just go deal with Yorick instead? Uh, I said we ignore him, he'll, he'll only get a tier 2 turret. Perfect. Nearly good enough for Blood Thister. <sighs> Should've asked her to let me give, get the wave, the entire wave. We got the Drake, right? Yeah, perfect. It's gonna be great paired with my Blood Thister. I'm gonna be super tanky. Try and get the spell cause. Never mind, he's dead. Uh, we do need to deal with that. Herald, though. Guys. These guys are gonna try and fucking get me. I just need to leave, actually. I they need to leave mid, uh, or they might get engaged on if they choose not to go for me. Yeah, you see them. They're just waiting for me. I don't fucking know that I'm safe still, but nobody's going to help me. I might just be able to 1v2 anyway, we'll see. They're coming for me now. No, oh, Alistar, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alright, so it's like I said, I can probably 1v2. I think my choice of words was maybe, but that was not even close. My skin is crawling. Needles. Oh. What was that slow? This thing slows you? I didn't even know that. Team has 
destroyed and inhibited. Destroyed them. Got him. Oh, I actually got the kill in. This could be the Penta. It could be a Penta. Come on, come on, come on. Let me have it, let me have it. Let's fucking go. Good start to the promos. <laughs> GG. Yo, what up, gamers? We are back for another game of Kaisa the Diamond. This time we're playing Kaisa Yumi into server brand. Yumi is absolutely busted right now after her rework, so I'm happy to see this. We're currently one game away from Diamond and from the series ending. If we win, if we lose, then obviously, well, we'll keep on playing. I mean, we, we can lose up to two games, or we can lose one game and then we can still have a chance of winning. We'll see. And anyway, I spent too long leashing there. My bad. I might get cheesed by some brand poke here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> J4 didn't notice they placed vision there. Oh, he's going for a really cheesy gank, though. I like this. Alright, pop ghost. Sivir should have flashed that. Oh. My key didn't hit her. But she died to that. Okay, just make sure I don't get hit by that W, or I might die. I was spared for a reason. <laughs> he wants to go for it again, seriously. <laughs> Holy fuck, that hit him. Ah, I trolled that. My bad. Oh, oh kill goes to Yumi. Oh well, this is really good though. We leave that whiff. This is all good. Simver, even with her amazing wave clear, won't be able to crash this in in time to make me miss farm. Perfect. What a great start. Thank you, G4. Just a little bit of a shame that Yumi got the second kill, but at least, like, at least there's somebody on our lane, right? Helps us more in bot lane for Yumi to have the kill than for J4 to have the kill when you think about it that way. Could be worse. Got it. What? What? No, what? I should have had that. You saw that, right? That clearly passed right through the minion. I could have dodged that, but I didn't want to give up the minion. I swear it used to be way easier to lost under the turret. And it was changed, but shit is impossible. <laughs> so much yes with the regular HP that I can't lost hit. Get zoned from so much farm as well. Okay, we're only 5 CS down. Kill more than makes off of that. I don't know where Wukong is though. I need to be cautious about that. We don't want to give away our lead. I'm going to play it ultra safe and even just W that brush. Just to the face checking toward. Yeah, I think the enemy vault lane didn't leash. Didn't they? Assuming by the brand's oak through there. Which would mean that Wukong is, you know, started topside and is headed towards spot side. Except a Piotr would have um, finished this clear ages ago, but we don't know that it recalled and restarted it. Yeah, so we're testing out the overheal this game. Uh, I. I think we tested it like once or twice on Kaisa and it felt okay, then I just never used it again. Gonna try it out again this game, especially given that we're paired with Yumi. Yeah, this could be a really free kill. We're gonna waste a lot of our time, we should just pot the other way though. If anything, ah, yeah, actually, if anything, what I should have done 
was let her get towards here and then move up. Like, my teammates would have been spamming me, being like, what the fuck, Paul Lane, move! But I would have just been waiting for the right time to move, right? To bait the Ari into thinking, like, I'm not going to notice when I am. All right, Ari dead. Definitely not worth chasing her. But yeah, Yumi actually gives a lot of healing at the moment. Uh, it just doesn't cost her any mana. Um, and she gives you a lot of like unhit healing where you auto attack something and it gives you and it gives you healing. I don't know if that is it permanent. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure exactly still how the new Yumi works. There was so many changes. But I'm pretty sure I'm getting like you see plus five on me every time I auto, right? Then I think that's her healing. So between that and coal and bloodline and the rinse blade, we've got a lot of healing. So it shouldn't be too hard to start getting the overheal stacked soon. Like, I've already got some stacks. Already blocked 35 damage. That hit someone? Jesus Christ. That range was absurd. Nice one. We can just base here. We don't even care about all the damage we took. Because, well, what we would want to do is base. But actually, I'm just going to stay. Because this is such a good... Like, uh, this is such a good base opportunity for us. Because of the fact that I've got so much gold to spend, right? They don't know how much gold I've got to spend. But they know I must have a lot. So they should... Come on. Come on. Don't play it ultra safe. Come on. Don't be pussies. Fuck it. I'm going to serve this wave then. Uh, oh, actually, I think the, oh, I think the on hit healing is permanent whenever she's formed a buddy, which I guess we're her buddy. Do we also get permanent on hit? We do. Yeah, she's just so crazy powerful right now. We have such a big wave here. I don't think we have to be afraid. Oh, we have to be afraid of this though. I'm good. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, we'll just go for... Berserk is here. It's really... Like, I usually wouldn't mind it. I care about it too much in a matchup like this. I don't think, but... Because we're paired with Yumi, Yumi's, like, basically, Yumi's mobility is whatever your mobility is. So by buying movement speed, you're buying mobility for both yourself and for Yumi. If you keep yourself safe, you're also keeping Yumi safe. It's, like, double important, so. What the, why the fuck does he have two wards there? Let's see if we can do anything here. Ah, fuck. Oh, they're gonna come for me again. <laughs> this is why we have Berserkers, so we can get away here. Hopefully... Fuck, I might be dead here. Okay. Oof. Could've been trouble. I'm not gonna die here. Fuck, should've saved my W toll in them. No! I'm so fucked now, damn it. I thought I dodged this burn kill already. Oh well. Hmm, Wave's dead as fucked. Oh well. Oh wait, is it? No, yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, the new Yumi just actually makes you tankier than ever, especially during her ultimate. Her ultimate heals you during every wave now. Oh. Heals you during every wave, and obviously, like, there's a lot of waves there, right? Between her 
healing, like with her ultimate, and whenever she, whenever she lands an ability, which is her ultimate, right? And the on hit healing that you get, and the amount of shielding she gives you, like it's just a crazy amount of tankiness. Fuck's sake, Wukong is here as well, because why wouldn't he be? Fuck. Oh, I almost had him. Man! <sighs> Fuck, we would have been so fun if Wukong wasn't there. Oh well. Azir is currently probably the worst champion in the game, by the way. He got some changes this patch, just like Yumi did. Except uh, while Yumi's made her broken, Azir's made him even more useless than before. He is 100% getting buffed very soon. I don't even know what the changes were, but I just checked his win rate the other day, and yeah, that shit was not looking good. Alright, let's uh, go play some fucking deep vision so we can stop getting ganked. Just need to shove some waves first. Okay, we're going to stop. Yumi's already placed some vision for me anyway. Oh, that's not good. Could we dive her? I don't think so. Maybe now, because now uh, she's not going to have an incoming minion wave. Oh, now Brand is here. Fuck it. Fuck, I got hit. Out. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck's sake! No, <laughs> why is over here? God damn it! If I just had time to get the blah, the sorry, honey fruit. I'm so sad, man. That we came out on top of that trade overall, because we were gonna, especially because we were gonna lifestyle all that, even if I didn't get the honey fruit. Oh man. This lane started off so fine with J4 helping us out way more than they did, but now it's the fact that Ari is coming to the picture while Azir isn't is just ruining us. Okay, nice. On the breast side, we do out scale, which is why, like, even with such a massive lead, we're also not, like, just stomping them 2v3 or 2v4. Because we're not that kind of bot lane, but. Really would be nice to just not have to 2v4. Uh, we're getting ganked again. Malphite wouldn't do this by himself. Oh, for fu- but I didn't expect the brand. Oh, Yumi! Oh, no. I don't know whether she had a shield up or not to save me, but I figured it was worth a try. Okay. Malphite is dead, right? Yep. But we're on num hard on numbered again, even as we finally get help. <laughs> well, I say finally get help, I did this didn't help me. This is after I died. Doesn't matter, like, oh god, I, I thought for once that, uh... Or I just didn't expect them to immediately sprint the mid lane the moment they saw me mid on the map, you know? Like, they're just so insistent on ganking me for some reason. Maybe we get Ari here? Is Pantheon low? Oh, there he's on the Drake. Oh boy. I got her. Huge shutdown. There we go. And they didn't even finish the Drake. We should be able to get this. Didn't even know they were on that. Got it. <laughs> what the fuck, Malphite? Okay, that's a full AP Malphite, apparently. Uh, no, I don't want to do this. J4, J4, J4. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, that's a lot of AP. Holy shit, he's going to be fucking one-shotting me later. Maybe I'll build more. He's the top center too, you would think he was building tank. Oh, 
Very nice. Nice one. Ooh. Oh, nice. What the fuck? Was that Oleandris? Alright, I can base for my mythic. Oh my god, this is like the most breathing room I've had for like 2 minutes straight since like 20 minutes ago. Or 10 minutes ago at least. Uh oh. Careful guys. Stop trying to force a kill on the Ari. It's not gonna happen unless she massively fucks up. Oh no. I should've... The weed Ari actually, but it's all good. She would've gotten a heal from Sivir anyway. I'll try it. Eh, I'm probably forcing, over forcing though as well. Nah, I can't get anything there. Get me out. No, I can't do it. Fuck, why didn't my ult cast? I was definitely casting inside of it. Fuck, I'm annoyed. By the end, I was, uh, I, my ult wasn't casting because I was in E, but I only used D because I assumed I would have ulted by then. So frustrated at this game. But I definitely froze too hard there, my bad. Thing is, I can only really commit there once they've thrown their skill shots, but they have no reason to throw their skill shots, right? Not all of them, at least. Like, Ari wasted her charm, which is bad, but then we, they still had the brand cue, and it's like, well, I'm not gonna fucking coin flip a 50 50 whether I dodge the brand cue or not to go under turret, you know? So I was just wasting my time at best. She might have ult, so even if I landed that W, I would want to get engaged there. Plus, because of the fact that, uh, you know, precedent has shown us that every time I go in, there's like 20 enemies behind that person, so... Probably for the best that I don't make any aggressive moves, unless all five of my team are with me. So we can definitely ult in there, but she'll probably get away with her ultimate as well. Oh, this could be good. We need vision. Could do with vision. Oh god. Okay, nice. Ah, what? <laughs> god damn it, I didn't have my screen on her. I just randomly saw myself taking damage. Uh, I definitely got abandoned there a bit, but I don't think I think could help much anyway. Still, if he's gonna die like that either way, right? <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, yeah, nice. Oh, this Pantheon is... Or this uh, Malphite is still gonna have ult, isn't he? Yeah. Ooh, was your flash there as well? Disaster. Wukum probably goes for golems. I've got W and ult. I got very little ult range though. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's Malphite on them. What? Why wouldn't Wukong do it? Well, we know Malphite has no ult, right? So. Fuck, I shouldn't have walked into his E. <laughs> okay, nice one. How big was that shutdown? 300. Damn it, I would have preferred it on me. Oh well. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh... 
Gonna do our best to try and follow up here. Gonna get my equal down back with this. I think the best we can do is just flank from the side. Lost vision. Yeah. My ultimate fucking got cancelled! I'm so fucking sad I ulted onto Brand and it got insta cancelled! <laughs> Let me show you this in a sec. Fuck, man. Look at this shit. Oh, let's see if the replay app will actually work. J4 waiting for ADC to go in. I mean, I was I wanted to fight J4, just wanted to go for the steal, I guess. I think fighting was the call, though. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is after my ultimate was burned. It was literally a fucking hour charm after the Wukong knock-up. So Wukong knocked me up, right as I wanted to ult in on Brand. That's fine, that's fine. Knock up ends, I ult on Brand, immediately charmed. You didn't even see me move. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad, bro. I could have taken that cannon. Where the fuck did he go? There he is. Oh, and he killed Panther, didn't he? No, he didn't. Yet. He's fine. What is this Yumi cooking? Let's get the scuttle crab, then I can recall for a dagger that'll give me evolve. Ooh, actually, um, I might want to do with scent here. I think I'll do with scent. With scent sounds good. Who was that? Probably Ari. Oh, hello. Okay, we burned our ultimate. And now I'm dead. Because I'm always outnumbered. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> An ally has been slain. Yeah, my bad. Too forced, too forced. Like most things. We knew she had ult, we knew she was never gonna die there. Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. We wanted to do... with sand. Annoying because I won't get evolve until... two level ups from now, but whatever. Or, uh, does this give me attack speed? Yeah, okay, I can base for this thing and that'll give me the level ups as well. The evolve, rather. Okay. What is they cooking? They is cooking. On the way. It's probably gonna turn into something more. Should... Oh, do they not know he's there? No, they do. Right? What? No, oh, fuck you, me. And one ult. Okay. God, it cost me so much HP, though. Okay. I think I was getting brand ulted as well, wasn't I? I think I saw the burn on me. Unless that was just red buff. Yeah, look at the ceiling. Without even doing blood the third. So, but Yumi's the only reason why we don't even have the burn ult there. It's just so crazy. Okay, I think I'll just base now and get no magic mental. <clears throat> it's gonna help a lot. Oops. 
I would like to be able to get this Drake if possible. Oh, fucking Ari, damn it. I was fine with tanking the Malphite Brush because I could ult away and survive, but not if I get CC chained. It's a hard game, man. Hard fucking game. Basically need Witsand after this as well. Or, sorry, uh, Bloodthirst after the Witsand. Oh, man. What do you want me to do? <laughs> like, what? The problem is I keep getting one shot by Aria and Malphite. Why would I not build this? Petey and Tamar. No, I'm not gonna- Why would I wait so long to get Amar? I'm muting him. Actually, I'll make it clear that I've muted him as well. Got him. Arya's no mana. Need to focus Arya while I can. Come on! I got her. Barely. Fuck! Maybe I should have just gone for Brand though. I didn't expect him to do so much damage, but this fucking ultimate, man. Oh no, Fanta's dead too. <laughs> Jesus. We got the Drake though, right? Yep, yeah, perfect. Brand has no cooldowns, I thought. One ability. Well, two abilities, technically. One fucking ability did all this. Okay, let's take a with now. Actually, I think I'll literally just go Maw as well. I need a crazy amount of survivability this game. Literally Maw into Blood Tester. Now I'll do blood tester first, I think. Then potentially blood then potentially more. We'll see. I return Running is only Do it blue. Oh. Maybe I should try and help us uh Zir. Damn. Kidding me. Ugh, Fuck, we I got baited by all this vision that doesn't actually do anything against what he did. Unless I'm just blind. Oh wait, I should have seen him coming, right? Yeah, he just walked down here. What the fuck? I'm actually blind. Yeah, what the fuck? They were setting up this flank this whole time. This is obvious. Whoops. My team was probably pinging me as well, but I got them deafened. I'll actually unmute everybody except J4. I only did it as a, like, telling J4 to shut the fuck up. And focus on his own game. Okay, not bad. They definitely can't do Baron now, at least, and actually, holy fuck, they won the fight. Right? Nice one. We can do Baron now. Let's fucking do it. Wow, dude, I've been holding my team back this whole time. As soon as you take me out of the equation, boom. Stomp. Ooh. Okay, nice. Let's get it, let's get it. Huge, huge, huge. 
I'll go mid while Pentan goes top. <coughs> Shit, I should have gone bot. Really now. Get this red buff. I wonder how much the shield on you me. E costs now. Gotta let this push him to us so I don't get cheese bomb off at the same way I did before. Azir! Whoa, you're crazy, bro! What the fuck? That was such a good engage. Fuck, if only I could ult in there. God damn. Azir farming for the 30 minute pass by. Oh my lord. I just. Ah, I just can't fucking move. <laughs> I don't even have time to flash the fucking CC. Was that our charm? No, that was just Wukong our instant CC. What did Pantheon do? I thought I entered that. Oh, Pantheon died right before I went in, didn't he? Oh, yeah, okay, that was a bit unnecessary to be fair. Why, why did he path there? Bit random. Hm. I'll get this wave and then bot lane. And W this cannon. I need to. Actually, I don't. It's the fucking instant CC that just catches me off guard this game, man. Especially the Wukong R. <laughs> Wukong R and R Charm are the worst. Okay, I need one wave, then I got BT. Burn is not up, so we don't need to be topside. Holy fuck that Pantheon damage. That R is fed as well. But not much survivability. Doesn't even have Zanyas. Alright, I got 16. I think we pushed up. Do I dare fucking ult on Brand here is the question. <laughs> And I got a Bloodthirster shield now and Bloodthirster healing. We see Wukong over there as well. Fuck, he is in the bush, but now I can't fucking see him. Here we go. Okay. That's fine. We don't want to ult in there. Are you kidding? Why wouldn't he just instantly flat? Like, ult me, man. God damn it. Fuck, I'm so dead here. Team recalled. Okay, Zero's. Oh, we can kill Wukong here easily. He's gonna no stealth reveal? Or I, I've, Okay, they just massively fucked up. Holy fuck. 
Can I land this on server? Yes. Let's fucking go. Holy shit. I'm so tilted that he wouldn't just instantly ult me. It just made my flash look so dumb. Like, what is he protobulting for if not to ult? Or flash ult? Oh, man. I'll tank this turret if I can. Oh, he still dies. Why are we not grouped here, though? I guess we'll group mid. Yeah, Baron up in 10. This was such a wasted opportunity, man. Can't see the chat, but I'm assuming some people on my team are not happy and not taking this game too seriously. We could try and rush it, honestly. Okay, they have no vision for now. We got G4 around? Yeah, he's nearby. So I'm taking the uh, dealing 50% less damage than I should be. Oh fuck, they have vision now. Okay, just leave it, just leave it. Holy fuck, his damage. Okay. Okay, I've still got ghost for now. Get him. Whoa. Okay, fuck it. Ignore her. Try and end. Please. I've played enough Kaisa. Oh my lord. <laughs> Let me move on to another champion. Fucking hell. Let's go. This is what, like the third attempt of promos? Fuck you, Diamond. You can't beat me. Wait, fuck. Wait, up. Oh. Diamond almost beat me. What the fuck? Are we actually not gonna end here? Oh my god, we can't end. Whoops. Okay, we got the Drake then. Nope, don't, don't, don't. Get Drake and then maybe Baron as well. Oh yeah, and Hib is good. Wait, I don't know. No, wait, we already got that. It's the Nexus Terrace they went for. Yeah, okay, with well, Twin down, there's zero way they can contest the Baron, which means should it be really easy to eventually get another inhibit in the game. Okay, I'm just straight up full build. How much Amar do I have with this build? 140, not bad. Sacrificing a lot of damage for it, but it should be worth it. She actually got him. Oh, that's our jungler down. Kind of annoying. We can ignore those wards. We don't have to clear those. Well, might as well hit those. Oh, that ward gives us away. Oh, they're working. No, their jungler's up. We can't do anything here. No, man, that was so close. I guess Wukong didn't have ult, which I didn't even know about, so that's lucky. Because that would have killed me.
Didn't get my cough. She knew to pull away sooner. Finally, man! Holy shit! There we fucking go. Alright, well, there it is, guys. Diamond 4 on Kaisa playing only Kaisa. Ended up with a 61% win rate, which I guess is okay. Uh, definitely struggled towards the end, like the past like five episodes or so. I had about like a uh, barely higher than 50% win rate, mainly because we were facing, uh, like I was facing diamond players already when I was gold two, was the issue. So by the time I was actually plat, most of my opponents were like D3, D2, quite a lot of D1 players even. It's kind of annoying that uh, my claim to diamond more closely resembled the claim to master than it did diamond, but. We got there in the end. Uh, as for what comes next, I'm gonna start a new series for uh, to Diamond of a new champion. Probably, Emily. It's either it's between Jin and Ezreal for me. And personally, I'm, Ezreal would be would sounds fun because he's more of a challenge for me because I suck at Ezreal. I suck at skill shots, so he would force me to like get better at things that I suck at. So it would be really interesting. But on the other hand, if I do a series with Jin. I can spam the Kraken Slayer Jin build, which is super fun, and plays more to my strength, which is just auto attacking with no skill. And so I would look less stupid while I do it. But um, yeah, we'll see. I don't know yet whether there's gonna be Ezreal or Jin. I think I'm leaning more towards Jin. No, actually, I was leaning more towards Jin until I put like five seconds of thought into it right before recording this, and I was like, huh, you know what? Maybe Ezreal. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I, don't know. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. We may occasionally play some more games on this account and just do Kaisa to Master. Um, I probably won't do it too often, but occasionally when I feel like playing Kaisa, I might just do that. But um, I'm more interested in just playing every oh, single lady suit. You, you know Sorry. what? The nerve of that man. What the fuck? All my YouTube tabs just reopened or, or reloaded once I went on them. Whoops. Anyway. <clears throat> what was I saying? Oh, yeah, whenever I feel like playing Kaisa, I'll probably, like, just do a Kaisa to Master series, continuing on this account where we left off. But uh, for the most part, I'm just more interested in playing every ADC to Diamond, and I know there's, like, I can tell that you guys also like to see a variety of ADCs as well. Uh, when I started the Jinx and Zaya series the first episode of each of those did really well so you know i can t i, I want to like try and get it to as many people as possible so i want to work on like three diamond series at, at a time which means not working so much on the guys the guys the master series but you may occasionally see an episode so hope you guys enjoy that and i hope you guys have enjoyed this series thank you if you've watched this whole thing and i hope you find it helpful if you somehow have made it all the way here and have, are not yet subscribed make sure you do that Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, let me know what you thought on this series, let me know who you're excited to see next, what other ideas you may have, like what other suggestions you may have for what you want to see, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Later gamers.